What's up guys, we're back with an absolutely insane opening. We are opening every single special edition in Yu-Gi-Oh! history. You guys saw the intro where I panned over them. It's absolutely insane. Some of the biggest ones we're opening are in the background. And of course we have the legendary Retro Pack 1 and Retro Pack 2. This one is open right here, but the packs are sealed. Retro Pack 2, those are the two biggest ones. I'm gonna go in somewhat of the right order. So with special editions, there are tons of different kinds. So some are in these boxes, which I can easily put in order, but then there's these crazy ones that are like this, so I can't really stack them in order. So I'm gonna do my best to go in some sort of uh, order, starting with the newest to the oldest, but we are gonna keep Retro Pack for the end because it is the most valuable, even though it kind of came out like 2008, 2009 or something like that. This is somewhat of a retroactive 90K special, so thank everyone for 90K. We are getting close to 100,000. I'd appreciate it if you enjoy this video to subscribe so we can get over there. It's gonna be pretty awesome. We also have a really awesome giveaway for you guys. I'm gonna be giving away Champion Pack 2, Champion Pack 3, 4, five tournament pack five tournament pack six these are all weighed weighed light so these are for sealed collection and an unweighed first edition legacy of darkness booster pack all you have to do to enter that giveaway is like this video you have to be subscribed to my channel and let me know your favorite of all these special editions we open today it's going to be a very very long one so sit back grab your popcorn enjoy the movie like video and if you can't finish it in one go you know save it for later and go in a couple of days in a row because this one's going to be very long like I don't even know how long. Okay, let's start off with the very first, or should I say, last special edition to ever be made, the Ignition Assault. This is when they quit making them. It was in 2020. I wanted to have all of them, you know, laid out, but you guys saw how many there were. I, it would just wasn't possible. So I think this will be a lot cleaner for you guys to see. But we're gonna start off with this one. I'm not gonna be too gentle with these guys because we will be here all day if I'm trying to, you know, be super nice to them. We've got a promo of the. Uh, Unchained Twin Sarama. I really don't know how hard I'm gonna go on these uh, special edition promo prices. I might go all in. It's gonna be a very long edit, that's all I know. We have three packs. Oh, there are, there are two promos. Okay, yeah, we're probably not doing every single one of those unless we know there's some value there, but uh, let's, get, let's get going into it, guys. This is going to be a very epic video. Let's go. Let's see if we can pull like a Ghost Ray later on, Ultimate Rares. We, could pull st we can't pull Starlights because they have to be in first edition pack. So Time Thief Perpetual, very cool. And then when we get to that Retro Pack, guys, it is going to be nuts. Retro Pack 1 can have some absolutely insanely valued cards. So Retro Pack 2 as well, with Blue Eyes Shining Dragon and stuff like that. The Secret Rares are huge. We got a Light Dragon at Ingester. We've already, already pulled a cover card. That's a good start. I hope we pull a lot of cover cards throughout this video. Okay, third pack of our first special edition. There's, I didn't even count them, probably 60, 70 special editions. We're only uh, one in, so keep that in mind. There's a long way to go. It's gonna be awesome. I'm really excited about this. Toe Talker Inverted. We didn't get anything crazy in that special edition, but we haven't done something like this since the every pack opening at 10,000 subscribers. If you guys have not seen that, go check it out. Two hour video, it was awesome. Okay, on to the next one. We have Movie Pack Secret Edition. So for the movie pack, you guys said get every version. I got the gold version. I got the movie pack secret edition. I got the uh, old, the unlimited version or something like that. So I got all kinds of different versions of the same set, which they kept releasing for some reason. It's pretty interesting how they do these. Uh, it's how they do these. So we have the uh, promo pack, which I guess we're going to open because this is an opening. Does this have the blue eyes and dark magician in it? Oh, yeah. Oh, and the obelisk. OK, cool. I really like the secret rare version of this. So when we get to that, hopefully, uh, you know, we can get that one out. Well, actually, wait. This is the secret one. Do you have to pull it, maybe? How do you get that secret rare one? Because this is ultra out of this secret. I don't. I don't. Okay. I don't know what's going on. I can't remember where. Maybe. I guess you have to pull it out of the pack. Um, I have three of those in my blue eyes deck, which is pretty cool. So these are all first edition because they, I don't even know. They Maybe they made an unlimited. Yeah, they did. That was the 2021. I don't know. I. This is confusing because they kept printing the same set. Pandemic Dragon. Laura Guy, I would love to pull an alternative. That would be awesome. Okay, make sure you guys let me know in the comments what you want to see pulled here. I mean, there's all kinds of different sets, so a lot could be pulled. I, I personally really want to see a Ghost Rare. We got the Clear Karibo, very cool. Very Magician, I think that's okay. And the Crimson Nova Trinity. Next up. We have the Lemon Magician Girl. I think that's a good Apple Magician Girl. The Dark Magician. I think this one's actually really expensive now. We've had a lot of Magician Girls in a row. That was three in a row. And then the Celtic Guardian Noble Arms. I'm pretty sure this card's like 20 bucks now or something, which is crazy. It used to be like three. So uh, that's our first big hit of the video. I guess not big, but, you know, fairly big. Next up, we have another one. We've got the Chaos Impact. Very cool. 
Let's see what we can pull. Can we pull an IP Masquerina out of here? We have two promos. Very nice. Chaos Impact, IP Masquerina. That's kind of our goal here. That would be a pretty awesome secret rare pull to start us off. Again, Infinite Track. Prime Mineral. On the Eros. Monster Express. Oh, wait. You get rares. Oh, you get rares back in the set. Wow, back in the day, you used to get rares. It's crazy. So we'll see, like, kind of the progression of the, how the packs went. Kind of like when we did every pack. So, like, you used to get rares and foils. Then you used to only get rares or foils. You know, you didn't you didn't get both. And now, like, currently, you only get super rares or whatever. You don't get any any rares at all. Gizmec Yada, okay. Unchained Twins. Ahura. All right, nice rare. And the final pack of Chaos Impact. So we are a couple of... There are a couple in, guys. A couple in. And uh, it's going pretty good. DD Patrol Plane, the Cauldron of the Old Man, Dream Mirror, super rare. Okay, so uh, we're still looking for a big pull. We haven't really pulled anything yet. Next up, Rising Rampage. This is the first set with Starlight Rares, but because they are unlimited, unfortunately, that is kind of one of the negatives for the beginning packs is we can't pull the Starlight Rare because they are unlimited packs, which kind of made the special edition, the recent special editions, not that great. Okay, Rising Rampage, we could still pull, pull it in the, we'd still pull the Apollosa, which would be really awesome. I would love, love, love that. Even unlimited, it's probably pretty expensive. The Starlight Rare, guys, is over a thousand, which is nuts. Ooh, Amorpheus, the Dream, Mirror, Black Knight. We finally hit something that was not guaranteed, so that's pretty cool. We've got an Ultra Rare. Okay, very cool. Two more packs here. Let's get that Apollosa. Magic Calibra. Ran Ryu. And Avida, Rebuilder of Worlds. The Rebuilder of Worlds. Tinny Spirit. Some of these Tinny Spirits are actually pretty good. I'm not sure if it's that one or not. Final pack of the Rising Rampage. Guys, this is... We're a long way to go. Oh, no! check that out. That's sick. Oh, yeah, exciting. Hopefully it doesn't have the... Oh, my goodness. Okay, I thought, that... I thought it was blue at first. I was like... Did we actually pull it? Thank goodness it wasn't bent. We're off the starlight, so we are back to when it was just regular old secret rares and ultras and supers guaranteed, and that was it. <laughs> it was not too interesting back then, I don't think. Uh, we've got Fury Fire and Magicalized Fusion. So this was sort of a weird period for opening, and it wasn't as exciting because you didn't have any big chase cards, in my opinion. Uh, some people don't like big chase cards because, like Stardust, you have to open 133 boxes to get it. But yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> All right, Deus, Salamangrate, Deligerous, number 20, is that number 20? Is that what that's supposed to be? Is there an actual number 20, or is he the only number 20? Utopic Dark Infinity, interesting. I've never, I don't know if I've ever seen that, I probably have, but it's been a while, I think. Two more packs, Dark Neostorm, I think Cynet Mining's in here. I can't really remember much about this set, uh, to be honest. I didn't open a ton of it, but I have opened some. We got the Haunted Rock. Mystic Mine, oh! Well, that's a good card, but uh, one of the most hated cards out there. So that's actually a good hit. It's probably worth a few bucks. I think, is that the original set it came out of? I guess, because this is a core set, right? Yeah, that's pretty wild. Okay, we've got the uh, Cyan or the Mystic Mine. Not a fan favorite. Fusion Destiny, some people like it, but then, you know, if you like it, then people hate you. So, <laughs> okay. I have this massive box next to me with uh, about stacks of like six each. And we're almost done with the first row. There's eight rows. <laughs> and there's also more to my left and more to my right as well. So there's a ton. There's an absolute ton. We've got uh, two promos. A white Rose Dragon. Very cool. Okay, we could get the Boral Load Savage. Is that what it's called? It got reprinted, but it was like 80 bucks out of the set for like a year or something. It was insanely expensive. It was just an Ultra too. Cataclysmic. And uh, Shiranui Skill Saga Supremacy. That could have been it. It's an Ultra Rare. But the wrong Ultra Rare. Two more packs of Savage Strike. Here we go. If you guys are enjoying the video, don't forget to subscribe because we will be doing more crazy things like this. Sky Striker Ace. Kinda? Kinda? I don't know. But uh, yeah, there will definitely be more crazy things going on. You guys are going to want to be here for it because, uh, yeah, I mean, who wouldn't want to watch a three hour pack opening video? Okay, maybe some people wouldn't, but I would for sure. Time Thief. We got a Neo Fusion. That's a cool one. Okay, Neo's Fusion, I like that. Cool Super, I don't know if it's good or not, but it's pretty cool. I know, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's good or not. Next up, Soul Fusion. I would love to pull Chaos Dragon Levy. I love the original Secret Rare of this. It is really, really cool. I think it's pretty nice. It's sold, cool, and Neo Space. And uh, yeah, as, as you guys know, I'm using it in my Blue Eyes deck, so 
I already have the unlimited secret rare, but I would love another one. Three packs. I like how this is a huge opening, but the, the screen is not like cluttered with stuff. It's pretty cool. All right, we got the Crusadia. We got the Rise of Salaman Great Giant Ballpark. Herald of the Abyss Super Rare and a Gravekeeper's Headman. They made grave more Gravekeepers. Does this set have a lot of Gravekeepers? That's crazy. It's like such an old archetype. Like one of the very first, might have been the very first, honestly. Unless you count like blue eyes and stuff, even though like, you know, you get, you know what I mean. Cybers Clock Dragon. Is that another? Another cover card. We've pulled two cover cards so far, guys. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. All right, one more pack. Also in here is, um, what is it? Thunder Dragon Colossus. It's banned. It's still like $15 for some reason. Why is it so expensive if it's banned? Thunder Dragon Duo. I use this in Duel Links. That's a cool card. We have officially made it past the first row. We're on a cybernetic horizon. I remember opening this set. I remember Saiho, guys. We got the Boral Sword in here, right? Is that right? Necrofusion. Um, not my most familiar sets. I did open some of them, you know, when I first was getting back into it, though. All right, let's try and get something big. Saiho. Three packs. Shield Handler. Crusadia. We got the Beast Magic Attack. World Legacy. Hip. Hosingen, okay, very nice. And Crusadia Regulus, two more. Two more packs. We have Breaking of the World, Psychic Ace, Beast Magic Attack. Portal Sword Dragon, oh, we did get it. Get another cover card. That's three cover cards already. And this is the first like really good one. I don't know if that Cyrus Clock Dragon is very good, but that is a really good pull. The original Boral Sword. I think I've pulled this like three times and I've barely opened a lot. I mean, I've opened some of it, but compared to like Dawn of Majesty where I opened like a billion packs, I did not used to do that. So that's pretty crazy. I have some good Boral Sword luck. That's pretty nice. Maybe I'll put that in the uh, the meta binder I've been making just for some uh, some cool cards like that, which I don't know if Boral Sword is really that good anymore. You guys have to let me know. Hip Hosting get again. So we got Hip Guy twice and Boral Sword. So that's pretty cool. Next up, we have one you uh, may remember. Uh, movie pack but <laughs> this was this is the special edition the last one was the secret edition this is different so uh, as you can tell the promos are different you get the dark magician you get the crystal dragon okay so uh yeah that's a little different slightly different then you get three packs well that's very similar and then inside it appears these are unlimited so there is a first edition print came out in 2020 and then an unlimited print came out i believe we're in 2018 so what sense does that make i have no idea we got slifer very cool. Chaos form. Vajam. And a Kiwi Magician Girl. Okay. Nice cards. Nice cards. Can we get the Unlimited? Well, that's alternative. It's probably more rare and unlimited because there are so many first edition prints of this set. Clear Karibo. Celtic. And a Chocolate Magician Girl. That's a very good one. Final pack of movie pack until we have, uh, you know, another movie pack later. But you know, you know what I mean. Blue Eyes White Dragon. That's cool. Neo Blue Eyes White Dragon. Very cool. Magician's Defense. Cubic Wave. And Cubic Mandela. Not bad. Next up is a big one. Flames of Destruction. We could pull Infinite Impermanence. I just bought some first edition secret rares, but I would not mind pulling some unlimited secret rares. That would be pretty awesome. So we have more promos here. The uh, Grand Soil and World Legacy. I have not had much luck with Flames. So there's a few big cards in here. I know, I can't remember what they are. Oh, of course. Ghost Bell. Ghost Bell and Infinite Impermanence. I just bought <laughs> some of those, both of those. So I'm down to pull more though. Degrade Buster, okay. This is back when uh, everyone was talking about short printing and stuff. So they're probably short printed, so it's probably gonna be really tough to pull them. But you know what they say, we've been pulling a lot of uh, good stuff so far. Well, a few good things. Three Trolling Trolls, I love that card. And the uh, Phosphorage, the Elemental Lord, okay. Okay, final pack of Flames of Destruction. I believe, Infinite Impermanence. Let's go. We got a Mech Knight, Avram, Shadal Construct, Restoration, Wind Up Zen Maintenance. Oh, I forgot it was right there. Okay, that was not very dramatic. Another super rare. On to one that I actually vi remember very well. I opened a booster box of this right around when I was coming back. This was the newest set. I pulled um, Saruja out of my booster box. And then I went and got the, okay, here we go. Cypher Blade Drag, Called by the Grave. That's a good one. Okay. I forgot this was the promo, but that's really, really good. And then I went to a local store that was really like an hour away from me at the time because it was the closest one to where I was I was at. And I bought a few packs of Extreme Force so I could get the monster. No, it was not the Monster Born. It was the first Exodia piece Lost Art. So the second one ever. And 
I pulled the um, whatever his name is, that Heavy Metaphors Electromite. So those cards were huge at that point. They were like, Saruja was like 60, I think, when I pulled it, 50 or 60, and then Electromite was 80 at that time, which was insane. So I, I have some good memories of this set, even though it's kind of a horrible set, besides those two, which are now like banned, I think, trading places. There's the uh, Ruler Hobdes, very nice. This could be some Medusa. I thought I was going to forget, but I did. And the final pack of Extreme Force, which we have not had luck with here. We have in the past, though. Not a great set, but to a couple of big Link monsters in here. We got the uh, Test Run. One of the early uh, sets, so Gym Knight, Phantom Quartz, uh, for Links in general. So, yeah, not early. It's 2018, 2017, something like that. 2018, yeah, 2018. Another one that I remember pretty well. Go to the Duelist. This was always on the shelves back then. I think there's... Is there a good card in this Special Edition promos? Skullmeister is actually pretty good. I can't remember because, you know, I think it's two out of four you get. I think there might have been a good option for one. Yeah, Solemn Strike. That's why I used to buy these. I used to buy these special editions just because if you pulled a Solemn Strike, you would get it for free because the Solemn Strike was $10. So I would buy like all of these and then half of them would have a Solemn Strike in it. And then I would make all my money back there and then uh, ho hopefully I would pull something. I think I never pulled a Firewall until I started the channel. Then I actually pulled like three Firewalls, if you guys remember, because I'm like, cool, the Duelist is garbage. And then... um. I would pull Firewall every time I would say that. Goki Twist Cobra, which it is still banned, but it is also still, um, one, it's a cover card. Two, it, if it comes unbanned, it's going to be really expensive, so it's a nice one to sit on. Uh, the Senate Thunder, Air Cracking, which I don't know if it will, though, because I know it's really good. Goki the Great Ogre, okay. All right, next next and final, go to the Duelist Pack. This is another one that's a very bad set. Once Firewall got banned, it really tanked, like, big time. It was like, we're talking one... One and two dollar packs, Cracking Dragon. People were selling them so cheap. And now we have another one that I have more memories of. And uh, soon we will be out of the time where I actually remember opening stuff because Wing Dragon Ross Spear Mode. Here's another one that had a great promo. So I opened an entire special edition box, so like 10 special editions, so 30 packs or whatever, trying to get a bunch of those Wing Dragon Ross. And then I was trying to pull, what is it, Boral Load? I think Boral Load's in here. Wait, is that this card? Yeah, I think it's Boral Load. And there was another good card. So there was two big hits you could get. And I opened the special edition and actually got... Um, I did get it. The Boral... I think it was Boral Load. I think that's what it is. Magna, Ro Magna Rocket Dragon Ultra Rare. So that's something. And uh, I opened that with... on Actually on the channel. Ver my brother recorded it. But he was like... At the time, I guess he was... How many years ago? He was probably like 10 or something. So he recorded it vertically because he didn't know. But I still put it up because I it was really early and like. But if you watch it, it's still on the channel. It's vertical. So, been dread nights. So uh, that was a funny moment that we that happened a long time ago, like three, four years ago, maybe like three and a half years ago, like probably three to three and a half years ago, and it was pretty fun. Alter guys, so quitus because I would always look for stuff I could open and potentially make my money back. You guys know the drill. You guys do this too. And a lot of times you couldn't do it, but there was a few sets like these that you might be able to. So I'd always go for those, even if the set wasn't great. And then we have Maximum Crisis. You guys saw us open a uh, hundred of these special editions the other day. We opened them on, live on YouTube. So if you missed that, it was a good time. But yeah, so it's trying to get the Ash Blossom basically, because outside of that, not much. All right, so if we get one out of three packs, it's insane, because we could pull, I think, four out of a hundred special editions. So 300 packs. So we have about a... <laughs> A small chance. Let's let's say that four percent chance. Okay, we got the Pendulum Mucho, and Digital Bug. We saw a lot of these cards, guys. Maximum Crisis. This is another one that was always on store shelves, but it didn't have good promo, so I didn't open it much. I opened it a couple times to try and go for the Ash, but I didn't get it. Wait, where's the? Oh, Zodiac Chalk and I. It's afterward. I should have known that. We just opened a hundred, but I already forgot. Final pack of Max, of Maker. Let's see what we can get here, guys. We've got Phantom Knight. We got a Double Resonator. Magician. Oh, and a Pendulum Mucho. Pendulum Mucho. Okay, that's back to back of the same card. Okay, we're already in 2017. We're kind of flying through this. We're only like, we're at 20, 20 something minutes in on my count. So uh, I guess it's not flying, but we're in 2017. We've got the Master of Blast, the Zodiac, Cataroost. Okay, that's cool. Raging Tempest. Um, It's a Zodiac. That's all I know. Zodiac stuff. I don't really know what's, I don't think there's anything huge in here. So we're going to see. We've got the Cyber. Okay, Wind Witch. Ooh, Foolish Burial Goods. That's a pretty good card. Okay, that's a pretty good Secret Rare. I don't know what kind of value we're talking about, but this is the original set, so it's probably, you know, a few bucks at least. That's a good pull, okay. 
I don't think there's a lot of huge hits out of here, so getting like one of the best ones is pretty good. Just off the top of my head, I would guess it's one of the best ones. Because a lot of this stuff, the Zodiac stuff got banned. So Eater of Millions, I know it's an okay card. I don't think it's worth too much, but Barbara. And the Sub Terror Behemoth. All right, Shinobert. That guy looks like somebody who'd be on Kung Fu Panda. You know what I mean? <laughs> it does. All right, one more. One more for Raging Tim. We've got the Ancient Gear, Shernui. Zodiac, Bunny Blast. We've got the Super Quantal. Ancient Gear. Full Force Virus, two Seeker Rares. I don't know if this one's very good, but it is another Seeker Rare. Two out of three packs. Our first crazy ratio um, special edition. That's awesome. Next up, one you may have seen before. Oh, but it looks a little different. It's the gold edition. Why it looks different? It's from Europe. This is the only one I could find. I couldn't find a loose one uh, in the North Americas. There's only one North America. So I got a, a European one. So you're going to see a few Europeans, because European uh, boxes like this, because some of the sets only came in Europe, I think. Okay, what's our promos in this one? We have, okay, the gold. I really like the gold version. I think this is my favorite movie pack. I remember buying, ooh, the blue eyes. That's awesome. That looks good. I like that. That looks amazing. I'm pretty sure you can pull it too. It's so confusing how this works, but I, I like that one. As I was saying, I remember buying a movie pack gold edition. Well, it wasn't an actual gold edition, but a guy's binder, and he had a ton of these movie pack gold edition cards. And I, before that, I was like, ugh, gold edition. Then I was like, wow, I really like these. Neo, Blood's Ultimate Dragon. Cool. Dark Horizon. Magician's Defense. Ooh, and a Dark Magician. Okay. Not a bad pack to start. A Dark Magician and a Blue Eyes. You gotta love that. Now, can we get the alternative? A Blue Eyes White Dragon. Deep Eyes. That's good. Dimension Sphinx. Pandemic Dry. Oh, this was made before the pandemic. Lord Guy the Fierce Knight. Very nice. Final pack of gold. Here we go. Dimension Sphinx. Unification of the Cubic Lords. Magical Contract Door. Berry Magician Girl. Vajam. Okay, Vajam. All right. Okay. Vajam. Yeah, it's very Vajam. All right. One that I know little to nothing about Invasion Vengeance. Starving Venom Fusion. Isn't that the cover card? I don't know. I think I know it's in here, though. Um, we have the Yoka Tuner and the Stopia. Three packs. I don't really know what's good in here. So we're just going to be looking for rarities. I always remembered it being like a, a crappy set at the time. It didn't have a lot of uh, great pulls. I don't know if it's gone up or not since it's a little bit older. So maybe some of the cards have gotten good again. Or Christron Quan. So we got another. We got a Christron before the Halka Fibrax. All right. Two more packs. I don't really know how old that archetype is, but heck, that was a long time before the Halka Fibrax for sure. Great old combat. Try to plant. Pot of Acquisitiveness. Interesting. I don't think that one's very good. And the final pack for Invasion Vengeance. Is this 2016 yet or are we still in 2017? We're probably early 2017. Flower Cardian. I'm trying to remember where this. I remember this from Duel Links. Paleozoics. Okay. Dragon Core. Ooh, Meteor Black Common Dragon. That's a cool one. I've seen. That's in Ghost from the Past, I think. I think it's in Ghost from the Past. Now we have one that was the second to last one I got. It's from Europe, the bane of my existence. I think this was only Europe. So we have the Dark Illusion. So I've not opened much of this set at all. So I'm actually really excited to open this. Basically a Dark Magician support set, which is really cool. We have a, oh, Utopia the Lightning is one of the promos. That's a good card. We're going to open it up though, because you know, that's what we do. All right, Utopia the Lightning. And uh, Spiral Gear Big Red. Very cool. All right, the Dark Illusion. Let's see what we can pull. Can we get some Dark Magician cards? That's what I want. Zap Mustang, Super Hippo. We got the Dragodes, Try Midmaster, and number eighty-one Super Dreadnought. It's got the uh, the big gun on it. Isn't there a prize card that has that? I can't remember. Two more packs. Let's get some Dark Magician support, guys. That would be pretty cool. Formal Pal Bubble, Bubble Bow Wow, Heavy Freight Train, Blackwing, Spiral, Meta, Metamorphamation. Okay. It's getting crazy over here. All right, final pack. I think this is 20. This might be 2016, 15. What are we at? Metaphol's Counter. We got the uh, Forbidden Dark Contract. Empowerment. Metaphol's Crimsonite. And a Metaphol's Fusion. I think that's a pretty decent card, but I don't know if it is anymore, but I think it was back then. Next, we have one that we've also opened a lot of recently. The Shining Victories. So we never pulled our Whitestone, so maybe we can get it here. 
We've got Elemental Hero Hardcore and Scapegoat. Scapegoat is a cool card. I, I remember getting Scapegoat, so maybe I opened some Shining Victories. All right, three packs here. Three pack around. Let's do this. We have an Amorphage Wrath. We've got the uh, Carrot Weight, High Speed, and a Raid Raptor Ultimate Falcon, which I do know is like a $4 card from our opening, so that's actually pretty good. Next nice spot, and look at the light. All right, we're due for something big, guys. Oh, we just dropped it. Yeah, we're definitely in 2016, because this set is from 2016, I remember. Um, not from being there, but from no just seeing it. Spirit of the Fall. Priestess with Eyes of Blue. Cool card. Not fantastic, but cool. Final pack of the Shining Victories Blue Eyes support set. Really cool. We've got the Ryu Okami. we got the Digital Bug, a Performer Pal, a Morphage. Anamorphage Infection. It wanted me to say it again after I butchered it. All right. We have Breakers of Shadow. This is the last set that didn't have a chance at go or the first set that they quit having Ghost Rares. You know, not first ever, but you know, first since they had Ghost Rares. They had Ghost Rares for a long time, then they quit having them in Breakers of Shadow. So that means after this, Ghost Rare time. Okay, Ghost Rare time. After this pack. After this, though, which has a uh, Buster Blader support, which is really cool. We love that. High speed. Dino Mist. Super heavy. Yeah, go Yo King. Buster Welb, cool. I think Welb is actually worth a little bit. That's cool. Two more packs of Breakers of Shadow. A Bosch. We have Ao Gaian, the Sea Caster. We got the Robot Buster. We got the Dino Mick. Go Yo Defender. An Enlightenment Paladin. Pretty cool card. I think I remember this uh, being an okay card back then. It's probably not good now, but you know, anything that's from five years ago is probably usually not that good. Final Bosch pack. Dragon Buster Destruction Sword. That looks a lot like the Whelp. Shurinari Samurai. We've got the Trump the Trump Girl. Okay. Despot. Super Heavy Samurai. And a Cosmo Sword Trooper. So this is the one with like the Cosmos and all that. You know, all the Star Wars and Wizard Oz stuff, which is really cool. We are into the really exciting stuff. We're like 35 minutes in, and now we're into the good stuff. Clash of Rebellions Special Edition. We could pull the Red Eyes Flare Dragon. Oh, wait. I'm pretty sure we're supposed to do Dimension of Chaos before this. I could be wrong. But Dimension of Chaos was the other set. Whatever. We'll, we'll be a little bit out of order. We'll do Dimension of Chaos next. I think I messed this up a little bit. Yeah, because Dimension of Chaos was the last set with Ghost Rares. This is the second to last set. So we'll just start with this one. Uh, but we'll get to Dimension of Chaos right after this. So can we get the Red Eyes Flare Ghost Rare? One of my favorites. That would be insane. I don't own it. So it'd be really awesome. Ignition Phoenix, even in first or unlimited. Four Mage. And Extinction on schedule. And as you noticed, not a guaranteed super anymore. Yeah. We got into the stuff where it's not guaranteed anymore, guys. We got the backup rider. Retaliating C. It's more of the old school stuff, you know. The hat tricker was was actually good for a while. I'm gonna to pull that out probably. The Camelump, Mandragon. And there's a super rare, so that's not guaranteed. You you do get a super and a rare though when you actually get a foil card. Very nice. Final pack of Core or Clash of Rebellions. Let's get a Ghost Rare. Guys, if we get any one Ghost Rare, I'm going to be happy. We got a Return of the Red Eyes. That's a very cool card. So the Red Eyes support. They hit Red Eyes, Blue Eyes, and Dark Magician like in a year. Toon Cyber. That's a good one. And Gym Knight Lady Brilliant Diamond. This one, I remember using this in Duel Links for a, for a little. It was pretty fun. All right. The one that we accidentally skipped, Dimension of Chaos. We're just one set past it, so it's all good. Um, this is another European set. This is the last one I got, by the way. And as you notice, there's not a booster pack, guys. Is this normal? One of these 27 cards, three packs in one. So it gives you a pack, but they're not in a pack. What? This is weird. Okay, this is, this just made this opening a lot more interesting. So look at that. It says it 27 cards, three packs in one. One of two super rare variant cards. Um, what? I have never heard of this. So is this our promo? A 27, this is so strange. Destruction short flash. Um, we've had great luck with Dimension of Chaos, by the way. We pulled four ghost rares out of a 300 pack lot. Insane. So hopefully we have luck here. So like, would a ghost rare just be in the middle of the pile? Like, like what? Um, I'm so confused. Like, yeah, yeah, we're not using any more pack art. We're just putting it all in a plastic thing. Okay, what in the world? Is it all commons? Like, where's the... Okay, three rares. What? Does that mean we got no pulls? 
Plus fire, that's a banned card. What in the world is that? Whose idea was that? I waited all this time for that? I don't know. Okay, that was super weird. That was just weird. Now we have Cross Soul. This is called an Advanced Edition, but I mean, look at it. It's a Special Edition. So they apparently tried to change the name and be all weird and cute with it, um, but it didn't really work. It's just the same thing. Okay, Return of the Red Eyes. Well, look, Return of the Red Eyes. Wait, should this have come? I'm confused now. I don't know. Uh, the order is probably going to be right for most of the part, but you know, it's confusing. Like, because when the set came out, it's not necessarily when the special edition or the advanced edition came out. Also, don't forget, guys, we're opening those retro packs later. It's going to be absolutely nuts. Hope you guys are enjoying this. If you've made it to this point in the video, go ahead and let me know in the comments. I appreciate you guys watching all the way through this because it is a long video. I know. Movie style. Is that for new? Okay, we got the uh, Red Raptor. We got a UAs in here. All right, Cross Souls, Clear Wing. We have pulled a Ghost Rare Clear Wing out of this. Uh, not a special edition, but it was a first edition pack. But that was pretty awesome. I still have that one. You send you. Yosin, Ejem, and the Soprano. Okay. All right, last pack of the Advanced Edition or whatever it was called. Can we get a Ghost Rare? Yosin, you Kodam. We got the Performa Pal Lizard Draw. It's a pretty good card. Performa Pal got reprinted in OTS 1, I think. Suture Rebirth. And the Teller Knight Tolmaeus. That's a pretty good one, I think. I mean, it's not good, but it's an ultra rare. Um, it's something, you know, it's it's a pull, which is good. Okay, Secrets of Eternity. I think we're in 2015 now. So uh, we're about six years ago at this point. So we still got a lot of years to go, but uh, we're starting to get some good stuff. We've got the uh, Jinzo Ejector. Very cool promo. Gotta love it, Jinzo. And if you guys remember, we opened some Secrets of Eternity on a live a few weeks ago. Go Shrek. My very first Ghost Rare was from this set. I pulled one recently. There's a Rux and, first Ruxin special of the video. Um, and yeah, so we, Nef should all, or Nephi should all fusion. Nef should all fusion? I don't know. But a Secret Rare, that's good. Um, yeah, so we've had pretty good luck with the Ghost Rare in this set. Um, let's do it again. I'm down. I really like it. It's the, uh, it's the Ritual. I can't ever remember the name. But it is a very cool looking one. Unpossessed. You know, Sinju. Wall of Disruption is in here. Got us. Oh, Rux and Special. I said that. We hadn't done one. And now it's Rux and Special City out here. Final Secrets of Eternity pack. CC pack. Speaking of CCs, I'm getting hungry. All right. Ritual Beast. Probably not going to go to CCs, though, to be honest. Don't know, Swordsman. Farfa. Oh, Farfa made an appearance in the 90K special. What's up, man? And then the Blaze, Blaze Accelerator. All right. Here we go, though. Check this out. Super Edition now. We've got all kinds of different stuff. Advanced Edition, Super Edition. It's all Special Editions, guys. It's all the same thing. Just chill out. We Oh, we've got a Pendulum. Rescue Hamster. I do like that guy. He's very cute. But it's a Pendulum, so I don't like him anymore. We are almost halfway through the box over here. And once we're halfway through the box, that means we only have like uh, 20 more. <laughs> so we are not halfway yet. Block Spider. we got the Sateller Knight. Laser Quip. Super Every Samurai. we got the UA Power Jersey. We've got the Cannon. Vera Fadon. Guiding Light. Also, uh, if somebody wants to be insane and uh, mark a timestamp every single special edition, that would be awesome. I'm not going to make you do that, but uh, it would be really, really cool if you did that fluffle dog. And Elegy. All right. It would definitely help because whenever you do something like this, people say, you forgot this one. And then I like if I want to tell them, oh, no, I did it. I have to go find it. And then, uh, you know, it's just ridiculous. Or I, I'm looking, I'm like, did I forget that one? And I'm like, no, I did. I did do it. So it just takes forever. That happened a lot on the every pack. Like, you didn't open this one, and I did, and it just was, like, buried somewhere. Okay, here's a really cool one. We have the Fire Fist Special Edition. I had never heard of this. And inside, uh, why are we even looking in the back? Because they're in here. But, yeah, I would never heard of this one. It's really cool. There's the uh, Fire Formation Tinky. I mean, it's Fire Formation, so what do you expect? Then you get three packs. So these three sets did not have a Special Edition Cosmo Blazer. Well, actually, Cosmo Blazer maybe did. Maybe Cosmo Blazer did. I can't remember. These two I don't think did. So... Uh, they put them all in here for the Fire Fist edition, which is pretty cool. So right off the bat, we've got the Fire Fist guy. Was this the guy on the front? This guy's on the front. It counts as another cover card. All right, Hazy Pillar, Hazy Flame. All right, Double Shark, After the Storm, Rush Fire. And Mermail Abyss Trite. Okay, the Mermail stuff. Red Dustin. Ooh. First Dustin of the video. Lord of Tachyon. Let's see if we can pull a Ghost Rider one pack. I mean, I'd be down. I'd be down. This, it took us a lot of packs to pull the Ghost Rider of this guy, but that was... That was worth it. That's a good one. Altitude Knight and Fire Formation Kayo. Judgment of Light. Oh, this is first edition. These two were first ed. 
That's sick. Okay. We could pull a first ed. Chicka lattes. Yeah, it's first ed. Chicka latte. Star Eater. I mean, I'm down for all those. We got the Mecha Phantom Beast. Sar Seraph. Bougian Regalia. Sargasso Lighthouse. Number 102 Seraph. And a single purchase. Okay. Uh, are the, the Colt Wing. You guys know what they say about the Colt Wing. All right, it's banned. Final pack on the first half of the box. Not pack, but special edition. Shadow Spectres. Not the best set ever, but it does have a very cool Ghost Rare in here. So I would love to pull it. All right, our promo card is Tuning. All right, not the most exciting. Three packs here. Shadow Spectres. There are some cool cards, like uh, number, is it 40? Jag no, not 40. Jaguleon or whatever his name is, the level 8 Xyz. He's pretty cool. He comes in Ultimate Rare, Bujingi Raven. Ghost Trick Stein. I like him. I like the cover card. Wait, it is that? The, no, it's not the cover card. What is the cover card? I don't know what that is. But I also like, uh, you know, the the Ghost Shore guy, whatever his name is, the Knight guy, Jangshi, Archfiend Giant, and Armored Kappa. Armored Kappa. We get a super rare. And the Spectors. Let's go. We've got Dragon Shield. Sponsor the video. All right, Mira, <laughs> please sponsor the video. Not, they are not sponsoring the video. I need to clarify. Got yeah, got a tag. All right, Malasepa is full. Okay, we have a very cool one. Duelist pack, special edition Yuki and Kaiba. I don't know how many packs are in. I'm guessing six. I never actually opened this one. I opened the big one with the the promos and stuff. You get eight packs. No, six packs. Why did I think that was eight? I, I don't know. All right, let's do this. Get an ultimate rare out of Kaiba. Um, we've said it many times. Yugi got the shaft. He did not get ultimate rares for some weird reason. Okay, let's go like this. Oh, wait. Oh, polymerization. There it is. Okay, that's a weird way to do it. I forgot I did that. Uh, super rare. All art. Very cool. A lot of people prefer this art. I prefer the old art just because it's, you know, throwback. It's really cool. Um, let's go into the next pack. So I guess our foil is going to be right here. Or the next one. Queen's Knight. Okay. All right. Spell Spellbinding Circle. What is this? Strategy card. Hmm. So this one, I believe, came out in 2013. So we're down in 2013 now. We're starting to get old here, guys. We got a card of Sanctity. And a Catapult Turtle. Not a not a Hollow. All right, we got Light, light Force Sword. All right. Guys, Ultimate Rare. We need the luck in the comments. Let me know that you're sending your luck my way. Here we go. Let's see. Kaiser Sea Horse. White Dragon Head. Okay, White Dragon Head. That's okay. We got two more packs. Two more Packaroons. Let's see, we have Newless Pack, Horse Raider. Oh, Lajin. Okay, Lajin. One more pack from the Duelist Pack Special Edition, Kaiba and Yugi. Come on, make it happen. That would be insane. Gas and Burr, come on. Lord of D. All right, Lord of D. That's all right. Okay, it looks like we do have a Cosmo Blazer Special Edition. I really like the cover card in this one, the Ghost Rare. If you guys saw my meta Blue Eyes deck, which apparently people took that meta part very seriously, Wind Up Shark. Very cool. Um, but yeah, uh, the Ghost Shred looks absolutely incredible. So I really want to pull it again. Well, I want to pull it because we never pulled the first one. We bought it. Three packs. Cosmo Blazer. I have not opened a lot of this set. So I don't know. Crimson Sunbird. I always think it's good, but it's not. We got the Brotherhood. Pool of Prophecy. We've got a super rare. Very cool. Spell Wall and Harry Heraldic. Two more Cosmo Blazer. So far, no ultimates have been pulled, so hopefully that'll happen at some point. We've got a Brotherhood, Infernal, Go Go Ghost, okay. One more pack. Let's get it, guys. Let's get it. Cosmo Blazer. I don't know a lot about this set because I've not opened a lot of it. Other than the cover card, looks really awesome. Ultimate Shield, Star Drawing, Blackwing, and a Valkyrie Knight. We've got another Super Rare. And next we have Abyss Rising. This is one I have not opened much of. We are also, I believe, in 2012, and this is when it's going to start getting hairy about what order I'm doing stuff. We have the Raw Yellow Mega Pack, which I believe came out in 2012. Got that girl. So I don't know exactly where to put it. I'm probably just going to open it up after this one, and we'll just kind of, you know, wing the order. You know what I mean? Three Abyss Rising Packs. There's a lot of pretty cool cards in here. I've never pulled the Ghost out of here. Um, some of the Mermail stuff. Uh, I can't always remember, but I know there's some pretty valuable ones. The Seeker Rare we pulled like twice. What is it called? It's a uh, it exceeds monster. Bahamut Shark, I think. Um, is that the that should, that's not the cover card? That's number C32 or something, I think. I don't know a lot about this set. We've got a magic deflector. We've got a mermail. House Dustin. Mecha C. Mermail Abyss Spike's not a bad card. And a Gaga Ga Ga Cowboy Classic. Is this his first set? I didn't know that. 
All right, one more Abyss Rising. A pretty cool set. Pretty cool set. All those water monsters. Let's see. Fishborg. Abyss. Oh, I skipped it, but Spellbook of Fate is like a $16, $17 card. Ah, yes. We pulled the ultimate rare of this uh, in a live the other day. I kind of forgot we opened Abyss Rising. That's really awesome. That's a good pull. It's one of our best pulls. Okay, now we open a Ryel Omega pack. So this is, a, I think, a fan favorite. Every time I open it, people are super happy. It's a fun one to open. There's a lot of cool reprints in it. Um, it's just a pretty decent set overall. The value is not too bad. It's kind of like a legendary collection. Let's see if we can get these out. And then the promo is actually worth like two bucks last time I checked. So it's actually pretty good for a promo. So we got the uh, Six Samurai Shin. Then we've got three Raw Yellow Mega Packs. Inside you can get, well, you get a Secret Rare, Ultra Rare, Super Rare, and Rare every pack. So there's a lot of cool things. A lot of good potential. You can get, I think, DD Crow's a Super Rare in here. Super Poly's a Secret Rare in here. Uh, e Emergency Call Elemental Hero. And this is a common system down. Flame Wingman's a regular Rare. Yai Chi, cool. Our Righteous Justice. That's what, There's DD Crow. That's the wrong letter because uh, E would have been really good. And then Dark Lord Desire, DD Survivor, and Ra Rainbow Dragon. Also, you can get Rainbow Neos in here, which is like, you know, a $10 common or something. Okay, not a bad start. Not a bad start. Two more packs for the Raw Yellow. Down in 2012 now, almost 10 years ago. We're offering to the Snake DD, Shut and Doji. Phenomenon. Instant Fusion. There's a good one. Destiny Draw. That's not bad. And a Crystal Beast, Ruby Carbuncle. Okay. Pretty good pack. And finally, we have Raw Yellow, the Mega Pack. Third pack. Not a bad little special edition having three of them in there. Test Tiger's not a bad card either. Fusion Recovery. War Chariot's not bad. Lumina, cool. E Emergency Call. There it is. The E Emergency Call. One of the most expensive cards in the set. Another good secret rare pull. So, so far, we've had good secret rare luck. But we have yet to pull an ulti or a ghost. Return of the Duelist. This is another set I have not opened a ton of. But I know there's some cool stuff. Actually, we did open it quite a bit of it at one point and pulled two ghosts. Yeah, now that, I, now that I'm remembering that. But only live streams. I, I don't have really done much in terms of videos. Yeah, we've actually pulled two ghost tracks out of this set. It wasn't a lot of packs either. Like, it was just crazy how lucky we got. But Olche Chateau, we've got the Konomaly, Impenetrable, Overlay, Imaruka, and Madolche Majeline. I think this is the one with Madolche, um, what's the really expensive one? The Ultra Rare Tiramisu. Um, yeah, it's in this set, I believe. So that's a pretty good one we could pull. We've got the Ninjutsu. Madolche Lesson. ZW. Madolche Bapple. Okay, the Bapple. Interesting. Final return of the Duelist Pack. Madolche Chateau. We got the Butter Rusk. Impenetrable. Trance. And a rebound. Oh, yeah, when they're shooting a basketball with a scapegoat. That is hilarious. I love that card. That's so funny. Or escape code. I feel like these may have been out of order. I think, no, maybe this is 2012. Yeah, I always think it's 2013, but I think it is 2012, actually. So maybe it's right. Oh, Wing Dragon of Raw is in here? Oh, that's cool. Why is Wing Dragon of Raw randomly in here? That seems random. Does anybody know the reason for that? That there's a Wing Dragon of Raw promo? I don't know. It's just a regular old set, I think. No, no. No, no. They just love to print the guide cards, but still very cool. We got the uh, variable form. Photon Circle. Earth Armor Ninja. Sweet Corn. Keep it time. Galaxy Storm. Okay, Galaxy Storm. Two more packs. I remember this um, being in the mystery boxes a lot that I used to buy back in 2017, 18. And uh, I was like, this set's not very good, but it was actually pretty old. So I should have, I didn't realize I could, uh, Blade Armor Ninja is actually pretty good. That I could actually pull Ghost Rares. That's really awesome. Blade Armor Ninja, very good one. And the final works pack. I've never pulled the Ghost Rare out of here either. Just saying, no ultis have been pulled. No ghosts have been pulled. We have a huge revolution. That just sounds weird by itself. Exactor Dragonfly, it's not pretty good. And XC is reborn. We got a secret rare. Another good pull. And then we got an Exector Dragonfly, I think is a decent card too. And with all these bug decks coming back, maybe that'll be okay. Another really cool one. We opened an entire special edition of this versus Yugi Mo. So you guys can check that video out if you would like. Um, it was a good one. It was fun. And uh, there's a lot of cool packs in here. So it's always Elder of the Six Samurai, which they actually like kind of trapped in there, which is interesting the way they did it. It's very hard to get out. There it is. Okay, three packs. Strike of Neos is in here. So, uh, good one. Very good one. Hopefully, we can pull that. Uh, there's also a Strike of Neos special edition. Um, so, yeah, keep that in mind. Pull that, I mean. By pull that, I mean pull the Air Neos. Tyrant Tyrade. Tyre. And Divine. Okay, that's okay. Next up, the Crimson Crisis. 
which is in the samurai special edition and i believe is this the one with no samurais i think synchro inverted sanctuary all right um gauge shout out to you and finally the strike of neos pack air neos has never been reprinted so even an unlimited ultra rare is very expensive let's see if we can pull it we've got return of the six puppet plant choo choo the awakened six samurai uru and twister is that it oh great shogun Shien! super rare so that's not it it does have super rares as well that's really cool that's probably because it's printed now like i think when it was originally printed it didn't have supers as well as rares this next one is uh one that i didn't even realize existed hidden arsenal five so someone had to tell me about this one okay that was weird um <laughs> oh we've got a uh bryonic that is the uh that's the promo oh it's only one card so we're probably just gonna leave it sealed because why open it because we already know what's in there very cool very cool hidden arsenal five shout out to the hidden arsenal uh reprint coming out soon probably one of the most boring sets that has been printed in a long time but it does have uh it has those um what is it called the dual terminal rarities which i mean if the cards suck who cares but oh it just didn't. i'm just saying i'm just saying all right we got a uh Ibigishki, soul ogre all right two more packs of the uh steel swarm invasion there's a few hidden arsenal special editions and now we're reprinting the entire thing which is nuts we have Jim Knight Topaz, cool. And uh, what is that first step toward infestation? That's very creepy. Um, okay. Third pack of Hidden Arsenal. Let's go. Hidden Arsenal 5, I should say, because there's different ones. Another Jim Knight, cool. And uh, the Gishki Mirror and Sage. Okay, here's one that we've been searching for for a long time. Generation 4. We've been searching for that Leviathan Dragon Ghost pull. We've got an absolute zero and three packs three packs can we pull leviathan oh that would be so sweet if it happened here it would be epic epic we have the drill barnacle spearfish double or nothing painful Craft bug x okay we've seen a lot of him two more packs gen force 2011 i believe the very first xc set we're about to go to and solely synchros okay goldenberg past image attention mass change Crash Bug X and Crash Bug Road. All right, okay. Can we get an ulti or a ghost? So far, we've had no luck with that. Let's see. At least an ulti. We got a Goblin Bird. Past Image. Jim Elephant. Racking. Pain for turn. And Wind Up Dog. All right. No Leviathan. I forgot to look at where this one was, but I'm pretty sure we already should have opened it. So let's open this up. This is the cool one because it's Trishel on the front. You can pull the Trish. It's actually a decent set. There's also, like, I think a $40 card in here or something like that. That's not Trishula, which is pretty weird. We have a Naturia Pineapple. Okay. All right, Naturia Pineapple. That is the promo. Okay. We've got three Hidden Arsenal 4s. Let's see if we can pull something big. I can't remember. I think it's a Dragoonity card that's really expensive. Unless it's already gotten reprinted, but I'm pretty sure it hasn't. We have Dragoonity Primus. It's not that one. I know that. And Stink Bug. Let's see about this. I'd like Trishula. That would be cool. Trishula is very cool. All right. Let's do a little suspense here because it's right at the front. We've got the Jirak Aolo. I think this was actually worth something for a while. I think it's okay. I don't know if it's still that much, but the uh, Ice Barrier is very nice. And the final Trishula's Triumph. Let's get the Trish itself. Let's see if we can pull. To the back. We've got the Gen X Ally. War Warlock. Dragonity. Neo, Flame though, Saber. That's not it. That's not the one. And speaking of Hidden Arsenal, we have another one. This is where it's going to get messy because they all stay, they were sealing them for a while. So we're going to have to cut them all open. It won't be quite as easy to open as before, unfortunately. Our promo is the Pineapple as well. That's a little weird. Okay. Three packs. So this is one, two, and three here. I, bl I believe one is all like limited edition, right? Is that right? I can't remember. Wrath of Neos, one of the coolest cards in the set, that's for sure. So I'll take that. And uh, some Dinkles. Okay, Hidden Arsenal 2. Got a little cleaned up because there was stuff everywhere. <laughs> you know, just trying not to knock everything over and all this stuff. Gen X Army, very interesting. Okay, Gen X Army. All right, and Hidden Arsenal 3. I have no idea what's in this set, to be honest. We have Dragoonity Knight, Gay Bulge. Okay, the Gay Bulge. Storm of Ragnarok. You guys know, I have never pulled the Odin Ghost Rare. And I would love, first of all, to pull a Ghost Rare. You know, that was very stretchy. A Ghost Rare in this video. And second of all, to pull the Odin. That would be a cool one as well. So let's see if we can pull it. We have a little 
paper. Interesting. If you guys are interested in that, uh, check out the 2011 World Championships. <laughs> and uh, the Light and Darkness Dragon. Very cool promo. I like that. Three packs. Storm of Ragnarok. I believe we're over an hour. I've probably cut out a lot by now. So maybe we're not at an hour yet. But if you guys are near an hour, I appreciate you guys watching and supporting the channel. If you're already, if you watch an hour of this and you're not subscribed, like, you might as well, you know. I mean, you watch an entire hour of some random guy opening packs. So, you know, might as well subscribe. Just saying. But I appreciate all you guys have been watching, even if you're not subscribed. So thank you guys very much. The Gotter Demeron, the Terminal World, the Shein Ski, Blackwing, Tire, and my... On to the next pack. Okay, third pack. Third pack of Storm of Ragnarok. Bloodsucker. We get the Black Boost. Legendary Six Samurai Hour of Courage. Tan. Token Stampede. Got it. Got it. Here's another really awesome one. X Saber Power Up. You can actually get some first edition. Uh, is it Ancient Prophecy and Stardust Overdrive occasionally in these? My friend Yu-Gi-Oh hooked me up with these because he always had... Did I not cut that somehow? I don't know what just happened. It, it sort of cut it, but... Uh, he always has a lot of these. He's pulled a majestic star dragon ghost out of one of these. Yeah, hopefully that happens for us. He's not going to be happy if that happens. But sometimes you just can't be, you just got to be upset about some stuff. You know, I, I'd be happy. All right. So inside we have, first of all, Fallen Knight. This is not first edition, not first edition. There's a first edition Stardust Overdrive. So there is a big pack. They didn't have booster boxes in North America for those. So super rare pack, like extremely rare. So let's see if we can pull something crazy. I'm down for a Ghost Rain any set, even if it's not first edition. But first edition Ghost would be nuts. Battle Telly, we got the Divine Dragon. Reinforced Truth. And Morphtronic Magnon. Scary Moth made an appearance. Okay, Ancient Prophecy. Let's go. Imperial Custom. We got the Blackwing. Infernity Beast. Death Amulet. Flamebell Fire Dog. And Battle of the Elements. Very cool. And we have a Hidden Arsenal pack. Okay, very exciting. Hidden Arsenal. Who doesn't love Hidden Arsenal? Raise your hand. Oh, look, another Wrath of Neos. It is at least giving us some cool ones. We got a second Wrath of Neos out of our two packs. That's pretty good. Finally, from the X Saber Power Up, we have a first edition Stardust Overdrive pack. This could be a massive pull if it's... I mean, there's a lot of good foils in here. So let's see if we can pull even an ulti. It'd be awesome. Synchro Barrier. We got a quick draw Synchro. Herculean Power. Solitaire Magician. And... Zero Garden. Okay. Just over. On to the next one. We have a Duelist Revolution Special Edition. And as you guys know, there's a lot of really cool cards in here. We have Pot of Awesome. That's a secret rare. We have Effect Veiler Ultimate Rare. We have Solemn Warning Ultimate Rare, which if you guys know, recently I was asking on Instagram, at Ruxin34, go follow me if you don't already, because obviously we do some cool stuff there. And also on Twitter, what Effect Veiler should I get? The Starlight or the Ult? The winner by vote for you guys was Ultimate Rare, which I did get one. Also got two Starlights. I really like those. We could pull another Starlight, or another Ultimate Rare, I should say, in here, Effect Veiler. I would be down. I have pulled one before, but it was for a viewer who got something on Ruxin34.com, which was really, really cool. But now let's pull me one. I'm down. Amazon is fighting spirit. Chivalry, the card we always pull out of here. Chivalry Ultra Rare. Okay, Nishuria Beans. One of my favorite cards. That's just a great card. Look how dark green these... Okay, it doesn't look like it on camera. Maybe it's the lighting. I don't know. Okay. These do look a little bit different, though, than some of the other Dual Revolution I've opened. We've got the final Psychic Ogre. Desperate Tack. There's also a Ghost Rare in here, so that'd be amazing. Watmer. It's kind of an afterthought with how good the other cards are, though. Okay, are we in... Oh, Gold Sark. I forgot about the promo. That's a good one, because that card's actually gone up in price, I think. Uh, I think it, was, it might it was, it have been a buy-up, so I don't know if it's actually really up or not. We got a Mind Mole. Watt Cannon. Trap Goblin. Lock Cat. Amazonas Village. And the Dash Warrior. Okay. And I nearly forgot. Dark Legends. And if you guys see... Super faded gores. I mean, does that not look sick? I don't know like why it happened or how, but uh, it's really cool. So let's open this one up. I think this might have been 2010, um, but I forgot. So uh, let's just open it up. Forgot to open it at the right time, but it's still really cool. This one's really annoying to open. As you guys, you know, it opens like this. Let's see if we can get in here without damaging that promo because that uh that fadedness is really cool. All right, we got... That was very difficult. We got our two packs. Now let's see if the promo's actually damaged. Gotta be really careful here. Oh, yeah, it's definitely damaged. Oh, yeah, it's damaged on the back. It's damaged right there. But look at the front. 
Looks really good. I like it. Okay, we only have two packs in here, but these can contain some really cool stuff like Blue Eyes White Dragon, uh, Exodia Head, all kinds of crazy stuff. There's Exodia Limbs, there's Commons. There's a lot of cool stuff. Dark Legends, if you haven't heard of it, it's a very obscure set. It's kind of like the retro pack of the United States, but no secret rares, so it's kind of weird. UFO, we got the Gary Keepers, Black Pendant. Metal Shoot, is that our rare? Oh, is that our rare? Okay, Curse of Dragon. Thunder Dragon, that's a good one. And Left Arm, always love to see the pieces of Exodia. Dark Legends Pack 2. Can we get a Blue Eyes White Dragon? That would be pretty awesome. It's a pretty rare card, to be honest. We got a Flying Comic Carry, Lujan, Toon Summon Skull, Maha, Umiruka. Red Eyes is a rare. I think Red Eyes is a rare is actually worth quite a bit, so that's actually really cool. All right, we have another one that I'm pretty sure we skipped. We have a Light and Darkness Power Pack. So this is like Dark This is dark Revelation 4. It has a cool Light and Darkness Dragon. It has two packs with really expensive Seeker Rare potential. Let's open this one up. And we're just going to rip it open. I know, it's going to be painful, but here we go. We have... Oh, look at this. You've got a, uh, a GX manga sort of thing. And then you can uh, free two TCG cards. You can get the Retro Pack cards. So you can mail in and you can get those. That's pretty cool. The retro pack promos. Inside are just two packs. So there are one and two light and darkness. Not light and darkness power pack. That's something else. Um, Dark Revolution 4. And then our promo, which looks pretty good. Probably a little bent. Yeah, whenever you put in this plastic, it ends up getting a little, a little bent. Two packs. These are actually extremely, like, not extremely, but they're very expensive. You can pull some really big stuff like a DD Assailant Secret Rare. Stuff like that is very, very, very pricey out here. Cyber and Dragon, I think, is in here. Stoitsu, okay. Some of the commons are actually worth a lot, which is cool. Avalanching Asa. Adhesive Explosive. We got the Cycroid. Cyber Blader, is that a rare? Oh, it's not a good rare. Okay, Magical Explosion, that's a cool card. D branch. Or the, the branch and the D shield. Okay, not a great pack. We didn't get much out of that one. We've got a second chance, though. Can we get a DD Assailant? Would be pretty insane. Even a foil in general out of only two packs would be really good. Infernal. Patroid. Elemental Hero Bubble Man. VW Tiger Catapult. Elemental Hero Neo Bubble Man. Silver War of Dark Lord. Warlord of Dark World. Okay, we've got an ultra rare. We cannot complain about that. Wow, that look I kind of like how that foil goes. It looks pretty cool. Ultra rare. Okay, we got an ultra. That is not bad. Probably not the best soldier, but still pretty cool. Okay, I think we're back on track. We're up to absolute power force. Come on, let's pull something cool out of here. The Majestic Red, I believe, is the Ghost Rare. Oh, Red Eye, wait, Red Eyes, Darkness, Metal, Dragons, a promo in here. Oh my goodness, that card's expensive, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that card's pretty expensive. Wait, let's get it. Oh, we got it, yes. This card is expensive, I think. That's definitely a good pull. Okay, that's very good. All right, this is Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh's favorite set. So let's see if we can get a good pull in honor of him and uh, so I can have a good pull, you know. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ghost Rare. Fire Ant. Spider's Lair. Oil Man. Shredder. It's Ninja Turtles. All right, Dijin. Okay, Dijin is not what we're looking for. That's okay. We got two more packs. Two more packs. Inverse Universe. We got the Psy Curse. Rose Fairy. Lair Wire. Ascending Soul, okay. Another rare. All right, on to the final one. We did get a good promo, though, so it's already been a decent special edition. Let's see if we can just get a ghost and make it amazing. <laughs> Reptilian Gardener. We've got the Pot of Benevolence. That's actually a short print, I think. Let's pull that out. We've got a Machine Assembly. And another Dijin. All right, okay. Not the best pulls out of there. Ooh, here is a very cool one. Here's the Twilight Edition, the Light and Darkness I was talking about. This is pretty cool because inside are three of the coolest sets ever made. Tactical Evolution, Light of Destruction, and Phantom Darkness. And not only are those in there, we have an Honest promo, which is really cool as well. I mean, who doesn't love Honest? Okay, so here's our promo, Honest, very cool. Then we have the three packs, awesome sets, absolutely awesome. These all have special editions as well, so we'll get to see more of them, which is pretty cool because they're good ones. Range. We want to get that Ghost Rare Rainbow. That would I would lose my mind. Ritual. Ooh, an Ultimate Rare Chithonian Ember! We finally got an Ultimate Rare. Yes! And that's a cool looking one. I don't think it's crazy money or anything, but absolutely beautiful looking card. That's one I am happy with.
Chthonian Emperor Dragon, our first ultimate rare of the video. It took a long time, but we finally got one. We've had good luck with secret rares, but not the ultis. So now that we've pulled the ultimate rare, now we can pull ghost rares, right? Honest? Huh? <laughs> Honest? Rainbow Neos? You guys want to come out? We've got a short circuit. Volcanic Queen. We could also pull the Honest Secret Rare Summon Limit. That's a very good comic. Oh, back to back Ultimate Tragedy Intro Code! Oh my goodness! And this one is pretty good. Oh, uh, okay, we're picking it up. This might be one of the best Twilight editions you can possibly pull. Two Ultimate Rares in a row plus a Summon Limit? That's incredible. Two Ultimates in two pa straight packs, and we had not pulled an Ultimate yet. That is crazy. Okay, final pack, Phantom Darkness. If you guys remember when we opened several of these, we had crazy good luck as well. Uh, I don't know if these things are stacked or what, but I'm okay with it. Can we get the Dark Arm Dragon, guys? I remember when Yu-Gi-Oh pulled one out of one of these, so that would be pretty awesome. We got to chain summoning. And the Migration Break. Oh, a Yubel! Okay, it's just a super, but Yubel is super cool. That is awesome. What a great special edition. That is a really good one. Okay, Rainbow Life. And Seekwall, very good, very good. Okay, that was that was pretty awesome. Now we're on a Stardust Overdrive. We already opened a first edition pack of this earlier. Now we've got a couple of Unlimbs. Can we get that? What is it? I already just forgot. The uh, Majestic Star Dragon. Yeah, there's Majestic Red, Majestic Star, Shooting Star, all this crazy stuff. You know what I mean? Oh, that looks a little, uh, I guess it's got stuff on it. Oh, it's just on the thing. Okay. We have the uh, Tempest Magician. Very cool. Okay, I'm glad that we finally got an Ultimate Rare. That took a long time, but we finally did get one. Two in a row, which is really cool. Now, I would love, guys, I would love, I don't care which one it is, Synchro Barrier, Gemini Booster, Gemini Scorpion, and the Infernity Necromancer. All right, okay. All right, okay, all right, okay, let's go two more. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. You're like an hour and 20 minutes in, so uh, yeah, that's why. And Segment Galactic, not really, it's just, I'm just weird. Um, Earthbound Revival, okay. One more pack of the Overdrive, the Stardust Overdrive. We're getting out of some big ones, guys, after this. There's some big packs. Solitaire Magician, Wolf in Sheep's Clothing, Reptilian Viper, Gemini Scorpion. Okay, nothing in that one, nothing in that one. And we have another Ancient Prophecy. Well, it's not, well, it's another Ancient Prophecy pack, but our first Ancient Prophecy Special Edition. I would love to pull the legendary Ancient Fairy. Soul Recharge. I think it's an okay, you know, it's for Light Sworn. It's not fantastic, but you know, it's something. I don't think Light Sworn is very good anymore, but three Ancient Prophecy packs. Really? Um, I'm trying to think what else is in here besides... Well, Ancient Fairy is in here in three different versions, which is cool. So any of those would be incredible, obviously. Another ulti Earthbound Immortal Casalua. 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 I don't know, but we'll take it. We always pull these Earthbound Immortals. There's a ton of them in this set. All right, that is pretty, pretty good. Two more packs. Ultimate rare already. I mean, anything with ulti, it doesn't matter what it is. It's pretty cool. Scary Moth makes another appearance. Frenity Beast, we got the Imperial Custom. Sunny Pixie. Rocky Mirror Tornado. All right. One more pack. The, the most ancient of prophecies. The Scary Moth. Infernity Beast. Imperial Custom. Sunny Pixie. Arcane Knight Joker. Very nice. All right, we are on to the Raging Battle. Wait. Oh, some of these can't have first editions. Oh, too bad we didn't get one of those. I forgot. These can't actually have first edition packs in them. But I think it's if they're in there, they're all three first editions. So this one's not. We'd be able to see it. Okay. Which would have been pretty insane if we got that. Oh, you can also get... I, I better mention it before I reveal it. You can also get the Vice Dragon promo in here, potentially. Okay, Dark Creator. So we didn't get it. But if that had happened, that would have been like the craziest thing ever. Because if you don't know, the Vice Dragon promo was unintentionally put in here. Like it wasn't supposed to be a promo. It was supposed to be a different promo and they never actually released that one. So it was only released on, you know, accidentally, which is insane on some of them. Very few proof of powerlessness. Okay. But uh, back to what we're doing. Power tool dragon. I am 100% down to pull a ghost rare or even a black wing, uh, collude. That's scary. Level returner, emissary, moha and spine. Okay. Nothing so far. But all it takes is one ghost rare. All it takes is one ghost rare, guys. Tuner, Junk Box, Thorn of Malice, Sea Dragon Lord, Gishalondon, Gishalonadon, Gishalonadon. I don't know what that is, but it's a super rare. It's something. It's something. We'll take it. And Giga Omega. Okay. 
we have Crimson Crisis. This is a cool one as well. Pretty cool. We can get that Red Dragon Archfiend Assault Mode. Ghost Rare, Ultra Rare, Ultra Rare, all those. Let's see if we can. I'd be down. I'm, I'm telling you guys, I just want a Ghost Rare. I don't care what it is. We got the Goblin Zombie. That's a cool promo. Wow, we are actually like somewhat a lot of the way through this, guys. There's still a lot left. And we got Retro Pack 1, Retro Pack 2. We got a ton of these in the background. We got, what else? We got Light Destruction, Phantom. Okay, we got a lot left. We got a lot of good stuff. Be Bliss Soldier. Soul Teleport. Arcane Barrier. Oh, Armoroid. It's after that. Okay. Rare and a foil. Wait, did I put this in the wrong order? No, maybe not. Two more packs here. We've got Morphtronic Map, Blackwing, Bora, Salt Mode, Seed, Shining Silver. Ooh, Arcanite Assault Mode. Arcanite Magician Assault Mode. That is a cool ultra. I pulled this ulti before and it is beautiful. It is very beautiful. One more pack here. Crimson Crisis. Let's go. Another black wing. Very cool. Raptor wing. Indomitable Gladiator Beast. Summon Reactor. Psychic Tuning. And Assault Overload. Okay. Now we have something really epic. Crossroads of Chaos. And you guys saw that I graded that PSA 10 Black Rose First Edition. I still have never pulled a Black Rose though. So Unlimited Black Rose. I Just because I have the First Edition doesn't mean I don't want to pull the unlimited version i mean let's do it guys let's do it three packs and an ill blood very cool three packs i mean the ultra rare would be insane as well but the ghost rare would be absolutely nuts i am 100 percent down 100 percent. obviously pursuit chaser pride for roar and fragrance okay not in that one it's okay two more packs though two more packs let's go Never pulled the Stardust or the uh, Black Rose, so let's let's do it. Revival Gift, Iron Chain Coil, DNA Checkup, Ever Living, Polynosis. Okay, Goka. Oh, it's after. Okay, that's what I thought at first. Then I second guessed myself, but Goka. This guy was in Duel Links for a while in that uh, you know, Sacred Phoenix deck. Final pack, Black Rose Dragon. Okay, DNA Checkup, Seed of Deception, Goblin Decoy, Bamboo. Pride for Roar and Rose Warrior of Avenge Ultra Rare. Okay. Okay, it's something. It's something, but it's uh it's not the ghost rare. Okay, you guys know what's coming next. The Duelist Genesis. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine a Stardust pull? Can you guys imagine a Stardust pull? I, I really can't even imagine it because it would be so crazy. It would be so epic. I mean, we already pulled. The uh, secret, or not the secret. We pulled the, why am I, oh, I can't remember. I was calling it Prismatic. Starlight Rare, it took a lot. And that was one of the most insane pulls ever for me. Not because, it, uh, you know, we opened a lot of packs, but it was just so exciting. This would be, this would be pretty cool. Pretty cool as well. All right, Psychic Commander, Dr. Cranium, Remote Revenge, Book of Eclipse, Grace Revival. Ooh, a Psychic Overload, so we do get an Ultra. Okay, Ultra Rare, very nice. Two more packs, there's a lot of great stuff in here. There's Go-Yo Guard, we dropped it. Go-Yo Guardian, there's Cards of the Light Brigade, there's all the Stardust versions. I mean, all that stuff's really awesome. Junk Barrage, Beast of the Pharaoh. We've got, oh, Red Dragon Archfiend, of course. Ultra Ultimate Rare as well. Defense Draw, Cobalt Hedgehog. Okay, Cobalt Hedgehog. Ooh, one more, one more chance at the Stardust until maybe another day, maybe another day. Fish Step Charge, Small Piece Golem, Crab Ons, Tricky Spell, Mind Over Matter, and Red Dragon Arch Feed Ultimate Rare! I almost forgot about him, but I did it. The Ultimate Rare! Oh! <laughs> and he's a lot better centered. I have pulled this guy once before and he was way off center, so this one is much better centering. That's probably our best pull yet. That is a good one. Oh, that's awesome. It's not the it's not the Stardust, but I am not complaining about this one. This is awesome. Okay, so that was a really good special edition. Ultra rare and an ultra rare. Amazing. Now we're back with the one we saw earlier. Light of Destruction. We had, what did we get? What did we get? Didn't we get something good out of it? We got an ultra rare, I think. Yeah, we got an ultimate rare out of this one and Tactical Evolution. And, it, and then we got a... Uh, a super rare out of Phantom Darkness. Okay, that should help. There we go. Man, guys. Honest Ghost Rare. Come on. Honestly, I would love a Ghost Rare.
Okay, let's pretend like uh, I didn't do that. You guys are an hour and a half in and I'm making cringe jokes. I can't help it. I can't help it, guys. I can't help it. We have the... Uh, Haraz the Light Monarch. I don't know if I've ever seen that guy, if I'm being honest. I do not remember that. Light of Destruction booster pack. Ooh, some pretty cool stuff could be in here, guys. Judgment Dragon would be insanity. Reversal of Fate. Quick Charge. Horrible Battery. Jinzo Returner, cool. And the Sanguine Swamp. Jinzo Returner, we got a Jinzo. Yeah, we got a Jinzo. Okay. We are getting close. I mean, all the packs left are like fire. Demise of the Land, this is a good, a good common as well. That's a good one to set aside. We've got a Golden Bamboo. Arcana Call. Arcana Force. Wolf Light Sword Beast, okay. It's a pretty good card. I mean, using the Light Sworn and all those old Light Sworn decks. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's that's pretty sweet. Okay, one more pack. We've got one super so far, a good common. Now let's get a secret or a ghost. What do you think? What do you think? Arcana call. Arcana force. Lucky chance. Unifrog. And Nibble. That's the next one, I think. For a circuit. I actually don't know. Wait, was it? No, it replaces it. I can't remember. I think it replaces it now. And now we're in that era. Okay, another awesome one. Okay, they quit wrapping them again, finally. So we can just rip them over, which is a lot easier. Phantom Darkness. Oh, that, that was... Okay, sort of worked. This might be a European version, which is maybe why. But I think they kind of have this looking one. Phantom Darkness. And they have the little promo in there with it, I think. I don't know. It could be wrong. We have... The Mutant Mindmaster. All right, three packs... We're getting down to our last few chances at a ghost rare, guys. We might go without a ghost rare. I mean, I'd take the Rainbow Neos for sure. Oh, definitely take it. Oh, there we go. All right, we ripped it. We got it open. All right, double double tag team. Obsidian. These definitely feel Euro. They're very slick. Chain summoning. Ooh, the beginning of the end. Ultimate rare. I love this card. It just looks like it looks like completely blank if you look at it straight on. Oh, that's awesome. That looks so cool, and it feels, you could feel the texture on it, which is really, really cool. Oh, that's awesome. Another ultimate rare. We've gotten hot with the ultimate rares. What do we have, like, five now? We had zero for the longest time, and now we have five. Okay, good start to that special edition. Two more packs. Let's go. Dark Arm Dragon, come on. Sam Sarah. Neo Spatian. The Calculator. Doomsday Horror, okay, it's another, it's another foil. It's not the dark arm, but it's another foil. Pretty cool. All right, very awesome. And the final pack for Phantom Darkness. Let's go. Blue Thunder, Sam Sarah Lotus, Cybernetic Zone, Chain Summoning. U Bell again. We got another U Bell. Two U Bells, not bad. We will take it. We will take it. Pretty good special edition. Two supers and an ulti. I'm not complaining. Gladiators Assault Special Edition. This one's a little beat up, but you guys know what we can pull in here. Magic Formula. Necro Face. We've chased them a few times, but we have not had the luck because they are insanely hard to pull. So let's see if we can make it happen here. We also get a Dark Crisis pack, which I always forget. So we've got a Phantom of Chaos. Decent card. All right, so we're going to start off with the Dark Crisis. Let's see if we have EN prefix cards. Sometimes you do. Okay, not in this one. We don't. All right, can we get that Necros? Exodia Necros, Kelbeck. Battle Scar. Yeah. Skill Drain. Yes, a Skill Drain. One of the best cards in the set. Just a regular rare, but it's worth like $9, $10. We always seem to pull this, which is awesome. Okay, Glass. Gladiators of Soul. We've got a no entry. Contact out. Cool. I think it's actually a decent card. Infinity Dark. We the Swift Strike Armor. And a cloudy and sheep cloud always makes his appearance in a glass opening. The cloudy and sheep cloud has to be there. Final glass pack. You only get two, unfortunately. If we get magic formula, I might die right now. Honestly, fog control, gambler of legend. If we do, pray for me. Um, a trucroid and oh, ultra rare. I thought it was an ultimate rare at first. Ultra rare though. Inishi is still really good. That's still really awesome. Another good pull. Not, not a bad special edition either. Skill drain in, in a super and ultra. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so we are getting to where we are. Uh, we're, we're getting to the back row. There's still a lot left, though. Um, they just don't stand up. So actually, maybe I'll place it with this duelist pack one. <laughs> okay, there we go. Force of the Breaker. Really cool cards in here. Ryza in particular. 
Ultimate Rare Ryza would be nuts. That would be awesome. And then, of course, the cover card, uh, Doom, Doom Fire Dragon or whatever he's called. He's really cool looking. I obviously don't know his name, though. I don't own one, so it would be cool to own one. Even in Unlimited. Oh, let's get this open. Come on. All right. Oh, yeah, we get uh, Invasion of Chaos. So we have Winged Rhinos. Very cool. And then we get an Invasion of Chaos pack. Also, I need to mention that we actually have a double double whammy here. We have Force of the Breaker, and that reminded me, I actually forgot to open Tactical Evolution, which we'll open next. So we have two Invasion of Chaos and four Force of the Breakers here. So that's pretty cool. I, I didn't necessarily, if there were two, get two of every single one, but I just did on this one because I was like, I saw one available, so I just got it. Field Barrier, we got the Amethyst. These are definitely European packs. A Cell, Destroyer Source, and Mass Hypnosis. The Hard Selling Zombie is a classic. Okay. Force of the Breaker, FOTB. We're getting a little uh, Invasion of Chaos early, which is cool. Tornado, Introduction, Seismic Crasher. Oh, the Ruxin Special, Pass the Soul of Fire. So did he get a super rare? The Soul of Fire. All right, into the IOC Invasion of Chaos pack. I don't know if they say EN on them. Is this going to have EN cards, which would be pretty unique, actually? Let's check. And they do. They do have EN. So down there. Uh, pretty rare. Um, there was only a few years where they did that. So some of the original sets were not printed much during that or at all. So it's very difficult to find those EN cards. Recycle. Here emerges. Destruction ring. And salvage. Okay, so nothing in the EN pack. That would have been cool, though. Okay, we're going to go into the Horse of the Breaker. Then we're going to go into the Tactical Evolution, which we got a little bit out of order, but that's okay. All right. Another Force of the Breaker. These weird ones that are super difficult to open. Okay, we got our packs out. Not too easily, but we have the uh, Phantom Beast Rock Lizard. Cool. Let's start off with the IOC this time. Will this one be EN? I don't think it is. So maybe the ENs only come in the regular special edition, like the non-blister pack ones. Oh, this is EN. Never mind. This is EN. Neobug. Salvage. Sylphie. Dean's Hand Mirror. Compulse. Okay, that's a cool card. Compulse and Chaos Orc. Very cool. Force of the Breaker. Let's do this. Two packs. Come on, Ryza. Give us the rise. Blazix. That sounds weird. Okay. <laughs> All about that. Crystal Blessing. Crystal Beast Topaz Tiger. That's a crazy ultimate, which you can get in retail. Which this, I don't know if it's retail or not. It probably is. So Topaz Tiger would be a big hit if we actually did get it. Okay, next pack. Last pack of Force of the Breaker. Gym Flash Energy. We got the Breakthrough. Magnus Slash Dragon. Blaze Accelerator. Another Topaz Tiger. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't the ulti, but it was another rare. Okay, Tactical Evolution. These are the really weird ones that have, like, nasty printing. I don't know how to describe it other than nasty. It's very strange. Um, they're all slimy and stuff. I will have to show you guys, but the LON is like that as well from this era. And then if you've ever opened Champion Pack 4 or seen it open, they're very slimy as well. So those were all printed around the same time. I'm not sure why that happened, but it's very gross. Okay, you can tell by the promo here. I'll show you guys. Okay, so if you check this promo out, it's super like greasy almost. And it's like super, oh, I don't know. It's it's not, it does not feel good to hold though. I can tell you that. Let's start off with the Labyrinth of Nightmare Greasy Pack. And oftentimes there's a damage on these, on these packs as well, like... The foil spot has like damage and all this weird stuff. Melka, these feel so strange. The gross ghost. Infinite cards. Okay, and an aqua spirit. So infinite cards is not bad. Yeah, this is just, oh my goodness, these feel so weird. They're so weird. All right, two more tactical evolution. Um, there's uh, there's often errors where there's not a foil in the pack. There's an error where the foil is damaged, you know, upside down. There was the quality control for not only how they feel, but just in general was not good at this point. Ooh, Elemental Hero, Dark Bright, boom! Yeah, there you go, that's for all you guys that love that old intro, but Ultra Rare Dark Bright, okay, that's a good pull. Very nice, okay, okay. Now Ghost Rare. I'm in for a Slimy Ghost Rare, who's in? Who's in for the Slimy Ghost Rare? It's, I, I think this is our last chance. This is our last chance at a Ghost Rare here. This is officially it, which is really sad to say, but that's it. Goggle Golem. We've got the Cocoon Rebirth. Crystal Small. Goggle Golem again. And a Doom Shaman. So we got two foils out of two packs. That is not bad. Not bad. A little slimy though. All right. This is where I'm kind of lost at what order we're in. I'm going to go with this one next. Yeah, I'm just going to go with this one. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. But we're going to go into this one uh, before we get into the actual most of the GX sets. We have a GX. All right, let's just, before we destroy it completely. GX Next Generation. So 
There's a Cybernetic Revolution, Shadow Infinity, um, what was the other one? Uh, Elemental Energy, and then the Whitehorn Dragon. These are so hard to open, guys. I sort of got it open. <laughs> now there's all these, like, plastic things in here. There we go. All right, we got uh, Elemental Energy, Shadow Infinity, Cybernetic Revolution. Let's try not to bend the promo. It's probably already bent, but... Oh, that probably did it. Actually, it's not. Oh my goodness, it's not bent. I've never seen one of these not bent. That's actually really good, actually. Actually, twice. Okay. Three packs. Very cool packs, too. Let's start off with Shadow of Infinity. I always used to say shadows. But it's just one shadow, apparently. One shadow of infinity. Infinity has one shadow that it casts. Success probability zero. These are probably retail packs. I'm not sure if we can get the... Uh, oh, this DD guide. Nice. Cyan Insect. Adhesive Explosive. I'm not sure what ultimates we're going to get. Probably retail. Could be wrong, though. Let's try Elemental Energy. Even if we can't, let's get the ultra rare Shining Flare Wingman. I am down. Branch. We got the Nano Breaker. League of Uniform Nomenclature. Hita. And Brow. Brow would be a cool ultimate. I would, I would totally do that. CRV, guys. You guys know what we want. Cyber Drive. Come on. We didn't get one in the every 10, 2006 10 opening. Um, but hopefully we will here. Steam Jarboard. Bubble Shuffle. Okay, Bubble Shuffle. Cybernetic Revolution never wants to give us anything. I think it's about time we do this one. Strike of Neos. It's like 2007, I think. I think we're around 2007. So I think it's this time. Let's get this guy open. Um, it has two promos, Shrink and Cyber and Dragon. We have our two promos, Cyber and Dragon Alt Art, which is very cool. This one got damaged. This is not the prize card shrink. It's not worth a million dollars like a lot of people on Facebook think. But uh, Facebook Marketplace, by the way. Not all you not all you Facebook groups. Just get that out there. First it oh, this is first edition. Oh, that's a little uh, enemy of justice, what am I saying? Uh, we could pull the Shining Phoenix on Worcester. It's an ultimate battle between us. Probably not the ultimate rare, though. We'll see, though. Avalanching Asa, Dimensional Fisher. Hero Flash. Okay, right off the bat, we've got a rare. Strike of Neos. Any time we pull their Neos, which we've never done, it will be worth something because it has never been reprinted. This is the only place you can pull it, which is really insane. We got a Lycanthrope. Advanced Ritual Art. Umbral Soul. Is that a, it's not anything. Ooh, Elemental Hero Grand Neos. We were so close to it being the legendary Air Neos, but that is still an Elemental Hero Neos. We are not complaining. Grand Neos, that is awesome. Can we go back to back? Two Elemental Hero Neos cards. Air Neos, Grand Neos in the same special edition. Electric Virus, Destruction Cyclone, Flashbang. DD Crow, the original print. We could have pulled an Ultimate Rare. Oh my gosh. I would have passed out if we pulled that that is an awesome card though okay i think it's about time we open up these so we have this and we have this and then we also have this which is actually the same thing um i don't think we need to open three of these to be honest so i think we're just going to leave this one they're all the same they give you the same pack just one has a different one in the front so we're going to open up this this box one and this one so we're not opening a million duelist packs because the duelist packs themselves don't have a lot of good pulls you know it's not the most exciting it's probably the least exciting com compared to everything else that's left everything else that's left is really really cool however i'm not trying to hate on your uh duelist packs if you like them because i know a lot of people really like these sets so we're gonna open two of them which is more than a lot of the sets we have a hero spirit very cool hero spirit promo is very nice and we have our oh look at those from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. It says that on there. Oh, I guess these do too. Okay. Okay, Duelist Pack, Jaden Yuki. Let's go. Eight packs here. So there's a lot of Jaden and Chaz. They're getting a little excited here. Okay, we, we go like this. Granted, Cindy Wing. Skyscraper. Okay, Sparkman. So it's right in the middle, which is, you know, that's the way you should do it. Or in the, the back. The problem with the back is they get damaged. That's the, the issue. Chthonium Blast, level modulation, and... Why Dragon Head? I think you can get Arm Dragon level 10. Isn't that where this originally started? And then, like, it never got printed again for a long time. Or maybe that was in a second or a different Chaz pack. Might be this one. Avian. Clay Charge. We got a super rare. I do like these that go with the Elemental Heroes. They're not good cards, but they're cool cards for sure. All right. Chaz it up. Time to Chaz it up, guys. All right. These are actually kind of hard to open. They stretch a lot. Okay. Let's get it. Ojama, BW, and WNY. <laughs> Lots of them. Jaden. Got the last four of these. And then we have more. <laughs> Transcendent, Featherwing, 
and polymerization. Two more Chaz, one more Jaden. Let's see. What will we pull? We have Ojamiola. Ring of Defense. It's an ultra rare. Okay. Okay, Ring of Defense. That's pretty cool. We'll take it. So Jaden's beating up on Chaz like usual. But uh, yeah, if you're a Chaz fan, sound off in the comments. Let me know. Is Chaz better than Jaden? That's the question. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know a lot of people that like have a strong opinion on GX, but I'm sure a lot of people do. Okay. He definitely won because Chaz didn't even get a foil. But let's see what we can pull for Jaden here. We've got Bubble Blaster. Three out of four, actually. That's insane. That was really good. Another super rare. Next up, we have one that's very interesting. It's a structure deck. And I bought this and did not realize it was actually opened, but complete inbox, so it works out fine. Structure deck, Dinosaurs Roar Special Side. You're like, why are you buying that? Well, it has a Power of the Duelist pack. So I thought that was good enough reason right there. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So it was opened like this, but you still got all these promos like the Five-Headed Dragon, which is where this came from, if you did not know, which is really cool. I did not realize that. I didn't even know this existed until I was looking into this. But a cool ultra rare card. Then you get a Power of the Duelist pack, which is, I mean, that's cool. You get a pack with your starter deck. And then you get the uh, Superconductor Tyranno deck. We're not actually going to open the deck. We're going to keep that sealed. Okay, let's open up our Power of the Duelist pack. And let's see if we can pull something epic. Um, if we can open it. These have gotten harder and harder to open if they gone. As, as it's gone. At the beginning, you could barely open them. And then, or you can open them so easily. And then, like, you get to these, you can't open them. Synthetic. D-Chain. Okay, just a D-Chain out of our one pack, but, you know, pretty cool. I say we just go on a run here and open these up. So we have Ultimate Edition 2. Edition. Edition. So you have the Dragon Master Knight promo up there and two Dark Revelation Volume 3 packs, not two. We're going to need scissors for this because this is in the plastic, so it's very difficult to open. I honestly don't know what's the ideal way to do this without cutting the manga thing in the back. Uh, Let's try it like this. Okay, so chopping off the top seems like it might be the way to do it. We're getting this part out. So we've got an ultimate be beginner's guide. Okay, it's not a manga, it's a beginner's guide. Okay, what in the world is that? We've got some glue on there, but it is in a pack, which is cool. So that's nice. Then we have the uh, ultimate beginner's guide, which is really cool. And you got some powerful packs in there. Here's the guide. I wonder what's inside. Oh, wow, this is really cool. It tells you the top cards of like each set. Oh, that is awesome. That's actually a really cool guide. I mean, that, that would definitely help as a kid. Okay, so we've got two packs. They both have glue on the back, which is, looks pretty gross. But uh, let's see what we can pull here. Dark Revolution 3. I don't remember it having a ton of crazy stuff. I think Necros is in here, which is pretty cool. Um, this is the one I believe they could have had Dark Magician Girl, but they didn't. So it was very strange. Elemental of Spark Man, Element Soldier, Insect Knight. Mystic Swordsman Level 2. I do love that card in Go format. It's pretty good. Destroy automatically those face downs. All right, Dark Revelation 3. Let's go. We have got the Armed Dragon at level 3. Chusuke the Mouse Fighter, Wood Borg. Dark Mimic level 1. Abare Ushioni. And Gaia Soul, the Combustible Collective. All right, we got a Threatening Roar and Refusion. Okay, not in that one. Looks like the promo was the coolest thing out of that, and that uh, that guide was really awesome. And speaking of Ultimate Beginner's Guide, we have Ultimate Edition. This is the number one. It has Dark Revelation 2 inside, and the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and chop this thing open. All right, so we have a uh, Shonen Jump, which is really cool. We got One Piece on there, it's still going. We got the Naruto, I mean, this is a great show, awesome. Trapped in Ancient Egypt, Yugi. I mean, that is, that's really cool. Then we, of course, have the Blue Eyes Ultimate promo. That is a really cool one. And then we have two Dark Revelation 2 packs. They got the glue on the back. But these can pull uh, Chaos Emperor Dragon Black Cluster Soldier. These are a little bit different story about the Dark Revelation 3. But these are pretty good. So let's see if we can uh, turn it around and pull something good out of these. We've got a uh, Make a Burn deck. Ugh, ugh, why, would you tell, why would you tell kids to do that? That's just messed up. Virgo Fairy. <laughs> Sea Serpent, Mystical Shine Ball, Blazing Apache, and we've got a Double Costin. All right, just a Double Costin. Yeah. yeah, not great. Next up, DR2. One more chant. Let's get it. We are getting close to the end of this opening, guys. If you guys have been watching the whole time, 
awesome, first of all, and then make sure you're subscribed, because I appreciate, a lot of people tell me every day, oh, I've been watching for months, didn't realize I wasn't subscribed, so, uh, yeah, just make sure you are. We got the Soul Tiger, if you're interested, of course. Brawn Army. Drilago, okay, just a Drilago, Judgment of the Desert. All right, so no foils out of those, but still really cool to open and see, like, those are really cool products, especially for kids. We got two more of these big special editions. The one is gonna be at the end, though, Forbidden Legacy, but we have GX Special Edition first. Wild Heart, Elemental Energy, Lost Millennium, and Cybernetic Revolution. So they didn't ever make a Cybernetic Revolution one, but they made tons of product with Cybernetic Revolution in it. Okay, we have the Wild Heart, which is a promo. It is an error. All of them are like this, though. It has Secret Rare name and no Secret Rare foiling. Pretty cool little tidbit, but they're all like that, so it's not that crazy. Then we have our three packs here. Let's start off with the Lost Millennium, which has its own special edition back there. We will be seeing that shortly very shortly at this point we're almost at the two hour mark actually passed for me recording but that is a long time guys minefield eruption we got the clay man Hida. hold on to your avian and a cryo sphinx so we, we we start off cold we caught up in the middle and now we've been a little bit cold since then so let's see if we can pull something good elemental energy we've had we've pulled a couple elements here we got dark bright and we've got the uh grand neo so can we get one from here weed out bonding Brow again. We pulled Brow several times. We also have Elemental Energy back there, so uh, there will be more more coming on the horizon. All right, Cybernetic Revolution. Here we go. Spiritual Fire Art. We got the Rival Appears, Protective Soul Alien, Indomitable, Transcendent Wings. Okay, just Transcendent Wings. All right, that's a cool Ultra Rare though. I really want one of those. All right, guys, we're officially down to the last eight. I replaced the background so we don't have to look at you know nothing back there, but. The last eight special editions. Um, not technically in terms of when they came out, because Retro Pack 1 and 2 came out already. We skipped where they came out. But we want to do those towards the end because they are very rare. Mesmeric Control. Shadow of Infinity. We could pull some pretty awesome stuff out of here. The Sacred Beast. Let's go ahead and do it. All right, we have our promo. That looks really nice. Very nice. And our three packs. Can we get a Sacred Beast? That would be insanity, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this long video. Because it's very long. It is definitely long. Okay. Shin King prototype. We got the Beals Frog. Symbol of Heritage. Sand Moth. Divine Dragon Exthelion. Very cool. Very cool. Super rare. Good start. Okay. Two more packs. Can we get the, a Sacred Beast? I've never pulled one. I've opened two booster boxes. And both times I got Cyber Laser as my Ultra. There's only four Ultras. I got the one of the, the four that was not one of the Sacred Beasts. Generation Shift. We got Sand Moth. Memory Crusher Ultimate Rare! Yes! That is an awesome card! Check it out! Oh, he's like straight up a brain with horns coming out. That is awesome. Then we got a few cards here. Anteater Eating Ant. Awesome. Another Shadow Infinity Pack. We already got an Ultimate Rare. That is, that's really good. Can we go back to back? Let's do it. Sand Moth. Super Junior Confrontation. Disciple. Symbol of Heritage. Option Hunter. Okay, Option Hunter. GD Guy, it's not a battle. All right, next up, Elemental Energy. Oh, this is a big one, guys. A lot of cool Elemental Heroes in this one. Let's see if we can pull something. Ooh, what a promo. We got the Silent Swordsman Level 5. This one has Fire. I think it has uh, Horus as well as one of the options, which is really insane. Okay. Silent Swordsman Level 5. That is really cool. That is really cool. Okay, three packs. Let's get an ultimate rare out of here. I'm, I'm very excited for this set. Shining Flare Wingman. Come on, guys. Send us your luck like a spirit bomb bonding. We got the Reborn. Oxy, get him. Cyber Blader is trolling us. Another one. We already pulled this earlier in the video. Oh, wait. Or maybe it was the 10 opening. I did these in the same day, so I'm very confused. I'm very confused. But uh, yeah, okay, cool. All right, we have... VW Tiger Catapult. We got a Weed Out. Bonding H2O. Reborn Zombie. And Level Limit Area A. Okay, we got the Chithonium Palmer. Final Elemental Energy Pack. Last chance at these big heroes. Or well, there's a couple in Lost Millennium, but, you know, the ones in here. Area, let's go. Ultra Muscle. Will you possess win? The Force of Darkness. And a Chithonian Soldier. Okay, okay. The end of Elemental Energy. We are down to the last few. We have 
these three for the regular ones we have retro pack one retro pack two and forbidden legacy which is of course this epicness the lost millennium ancient year golem one of the coolest cards ever i would love to pull the ancient year golem all right let's get that out oh we got the chaos emperor dragon i totally forgot that was a promo that is a good one chaos emperor dragon check that out Wow, that is cool. Okay, it's a little warped, but that's about it. It's not like bench or anything. It's a pretty good promo pull. All right, three, the Lost Millennium. Let's do this, guys. We could also pull Thunder Giant. We could also pull Brain Control, um, Wing Karibos in here. What am I forgetting in terms of the old? I mean, there's a, what's his name? We're Chefs in here, Real Surrender. Flame Wingman, Flame Wingman, of course. That's the one I'm forgetting. I thought I already said it. All right, two packs. Let's go. Minefield Eruption. We got the Spark Man. Rock Bombardment. Pikachu. And a Mid Shield Garden. Okay, just a Mid Shield. All right, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. One more Lost Millennium pack. Come on. Give us Ancient Gear. You guys remember when we pulled Ancient Gear Golem out of that extra pack in that Dark Magician Error 10? Dark Magician Girl? It's crazy. Final Ritual. Moy. Avian. Elemental Hero Mistress, that would be a big ulti. Uh, we pulled that once. That was a big one. Okay, Rise of Destiny. Cool part about this one, first edition packs. So, Dekoichi, uh, it's a good one. I've already pulled it, what, once or twice? I think twice now. Took a while to pull it, but we did finally pull it. All right, we have Judgment of Anubis. All right, cool promo, cool. And three first edition packs. Can we get a first edition Ultimate Rare? There's also some cool, uh, you know, just some other cool ultimate rares in here that we could pull. So in the ultimate, I'm going to be happy. We got a tactical espionage nightmare, rare metamorph, and of course the cover card, the creator, which he's barely on there. I always thought it was weird how they put him in like a box. I don't know. It looks kind of odd to me compared to the other ones where they're just like, you know, they're just all over the, the front. Tactical espionage. We got an element magician, Harpy's hunting ground. Tragedy. What a tragedy that we did not pull an ultimate rare. <laughs> no ghost rare. That's, that's the real tragedy. Okay, one more pack. We got a super rare, so not bad. But well, let's get an ulti out of Rise of Destiny. Harpy's Hunting Ground. Oh, we got a, a Rex and Special. Been a while, though. Tactile Espionage. Harpy Lady. Pikaroos. Circle of Enchantment. And look how much darker these uh, foils are on the edges. A lot darker on this set. Okay, we now have some epic stuff. We have Invasion of Chaos. Retro Pack 1. Retro Pack 2. And Forbidden Legacy. So I think that we go, do we go, this is the lat, this is the first one ever. Even though actually, did this come out first? I don't know. I don't know. Let's just go into, we're going to save these two for last, I think. Just because the biggest pulls can be pulled. So let's go with the Forbidden Legacy first because it's very large, takes up a lot of room. We can get the blue eyes out of that secret rare pack. Let's open it up. Okay, so we have our promo pack, Pop-Tart pack as I like to call it. Could have a blue eyes, Dark Magician, or Karibo secret rare. Then we have the first three sets, which is really awesome. So the first actual box special edition was Invasion of Chaos. So before that, they didn't have any. So it's actually cool that they had sort of a sort of a special edition. It wasn't even really a special edition, but I wanted to open these sets. Thought it'd be cool. So we got the Forbidden Legacy. I'm not sure if it came out before or after Invasion, though. That actual special edition. Because this came out in 2004. We have a Guardian of the Throne Room. These are EN cards, by the way. Labyrinth Wall, Liquid Beast, House of Adhesive Tape. Giant germ, just a giant germ. Okay, magical labyrinth. Pretty cool, but now we're looking for. We have metal rage. We've had some pretty good luck out of here. I pulled a gate guardian EN at one point in a video. You guys always love Forbidden Legacy. It's just a really cool one. Reprints of the original three sets with blue eye seeker rare potential. Paralyzing potion. We got the insect. And the star boy. Okay, just a star boy and dry guru. All right, L O B E N. Let's see if we can pull. Something crazy. Blue Eyes White Dragon Ian. Come on. I once graded a Blue Eyes White Dragon Ian at PSA 10, but I did not keep it. But uh, yeah, that, that was a cool card. We got a Wasteland. Larvis. Basic Insect. Raise Body Heat. And a Hainted. Oh, it was a dud. All of them were rares. Only three packs, so it makes sense. But let's try the Pop Tart pack. Can it be the Blue Eyes? I don't know if we'll see it right away or not. I can't remember. Let's see if we can open it up like this. Where we won't see it and also not damage the card. People always think this is damaging the card. Just because it bends a little bit doesn't mean it's damaged, guys. We have 
Okay. To the back, is it bent? It, it looks a it might be a little bent. Yeah, there's a little bent to it. But we did get the blue eyes white dragon. Is it a little crimped up there? It's mini crimped. You guys see that? They crimped it. That is still really awesome, though. We got the blue eyes. We did get a blue eyes. We'll take it. That's pretty good. We're down to the final three. Retro pack one and two. And Invasion of Chaos. Let's go into Invasion of Chaos, the first ever special edition. Let's get Chaos Emperor Dragon. Let's get the Blackluster Soldier. You guys know. You guys know about Blackluster. We got a magical cylinder. That's cool. Three packs here. Original Invasion of Chaos. These are not those uh, 2017 reprints. This was when it first came out. Well, a little bit after, because they did a special edition run, but you know what I mean. We've got a DNA transplant with a ding up the top. Oh, that's dinged as well. Don't be on the foil. Okay, Chaos End. Big Koala. And, come on, BLS. Insect Princess! Why do you troll me like that? I was like, did we just do it? Nope. Insect Princess. Okay, it's an ultra rare, though, and we cannot complain about that. That's pretty good. Energy Drain from an original pack as well. The Insect Princess always shows Look at that. Always shows up. Okay, two more packs, guys, until we get to those retro packs. I am itching to open those. Boganian, we got a DNA transplant. We have the Sea Serpent, Warrior of Darkness. Chaos End. Fuma Shuriken, okay, just a rare. Final Invasion of Chaos pack, and then we go to retro pack two. And then we go to retro pack one. Only seven packs left in this opening. I don't even know how many packs we open, but it's like 300 probably. It's a lot. Okay, let's be careful there. Oh, these are already bent. Oh my goodness, these were... Beat up, stumbling. Oh my goodness, this has the Blackluster Soldier. They're literally bent. These cards are bent. Sasuke Samurai number three. Okay, I, I, I could not have handled the BLS being bent. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad it's nothing. <laughs> On to the final two special editions. These are the big boys. These are the ones we're looking for. I might actually try and preserve these because they're, you know, retro pack. Or maybe I can just open it up. What do you think? Open it from the bottom, guys. Blue Eyes Shining Dragon Chance. And by the way, if you guys like uh, Retro Pack 2, don't forget, at 100,000, which we are creeping up on, we're opening an entire box. Not just one of these mini boxes. Eight of these mini boxes are in an entire box. I can't get this open. We're going to have to rip it. This is very weird how this opens. We're destroying it. All right, that hurt, but we finally got it out. Yeah, so we're going to be opening 24 packs of this at 100K, so subscribe. If you've already watched all the way here, you've enjoyed it. If you didn't skip to the end, I guess you would skip the end, still subscribe, but uh, go check out the rest, because we pulled some, some pretty good stuff in this opening. We've got a Gores, the Emissary of Darkness, so that's our second Gores of the opening, and we got three packs, which could contain the blue Eye Shining Dragon, which we have pulled before. Check out the video, 20,000 subscriber special, so 70k later, can we pull it again? And actually have a centered one, which would be insane. We've got an appropriate. We've also pulled the green baboon. Don't forget that. And then we pulled the uh, the other guy, the Archfiend or something. I can't remember what his name is. Archfiend and Guilford. There we go. Look at Tai. We got a premature burial. Let's go. We need the luck. Matched Beast. It is a super rare. Okay. It's a super rare. So that's not bad. That's not bad. It's not a secret, but it's something. That is pretty cool. This set is really cool. It has a lot of awesome reprints from OG. Joe Pack 2. Let's go. I always love opening the set, and it does not happen often because it's pretty expensive now. Pretty, pretty expensive. We've got an Opti Clubs. The Bottomless Trap Hole. Fear Dragon. And. Dark Room of Nightmare. And. Okay. Jinzo! Yeah! That's wonderful! Retro back to Jinzo! Let's have, let's have a look at it. Okay, we always have luck on these long videos pulling Jinzo. I forgot. This guy's even in here. So we're at Super Rare. We just went to Ultra Rare. That's got to have a Super Rare, right? <laughs> okay. Already a good start. That's a really good uh, special edition already. So that is awesome. One more pack until the Retro Pack 1. Woo! Guys. Guys, this has been insane. One more pack. Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. Like button for luck, guys. Let's do this. Four star. We got the Spear Dragon. Let's do the Soul Eater. Reckless Greed. And here we go. Are we getting a little too greedy with the Shining? Aeronite Parshat. Just a rare. That's a cool one, though. Definitely a good special edition, though. Genzo and Mass Beast. We cannot complain. The final part of the opening. So this was already open on the bottom. But as you guys can see here, I will show you. This part is sealed. So we are sealed in there. Woo! We've got the Blue Eyes Ultimate in here. As a promo. Very cool. 
This set contains some insane secret rares. Very expensive. And then even some of the ultras like Scapegoat. You guys saw my, uh, uh, what is it called? Worth it or not? I forgot my own series name. Um, then you guys saw the retro pack too, how expensive that thing can get for the Scapegoat. Uh, that's a good pull as well. So we got a Blood's well, Ultimate. And also, guys, don't forget, we got to keep that back there. The Blue Eyes by Dragon's in here in Ultra Rare, which would be insane. So let's see what we can pull out of three packs. I've never pulled a foil from Retro Pack 1. So that's our goal. One foil, one foil, even a Super Rare. Secret Rare, I lose my mind. I lose, I lose my mind if we pull a Secret Rare. Okay, I've not opened many of these. I think five total packs. We've got the Baby Dragon. Gaia Power. Come on, guys. We need some luck here. Send me your energy. Arm Ninja. Malvilo. Man. Left Leg of the Forbidden One. Regular rare. These always seem to pop out. Those Left Leg of the Forbidden Ones. I think they're actually worth a little bit because they're Retro Pack 1, though. Two more packs. Two more packs to end it. Can we get a foil? That's the goal. Foil out of Retro Pack 1. Still never pulled one because it's so... It's just so hard to find these, so I've not had many chances to open it. Black Illusion Ritual. We've got an Upstar Goblin. That's a good card. Mega Ryu Ram. Guy Power. Mom is my turn. Wall of Illusion. It's down to the last pack. No foil out of Retro Pack 1. Final pack of this insane two-hour opening. If you've enjoyed it, please consider subscribing. Now, what we really need here is some luck on this pack. Cyber Harpy Lady. That's what I'm calling. Secret Rare. That's, that would be nice. <laughs> that would be great. Let's do it. Black Pendant. Polymerization. Arm Ninja. Hey, name. Our last chance here. And the final pack. Right arm of the Forbidden One. Oh, Retro Pack 1 does it to us again. One day, I will pull a foil from Retro Pack 1. That is my goal. Wow, what an opening, guys. All right, guys, there is way too much for me to recap. You're just going to have to watch the video. If you guys watch the whole video, I understand if it takes a few days. I appreciate you guys. It was awesome. It was a lot of fun opening every special edition ever made. Insane. We've got some more epic stuff coming up, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys later. Peace. Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!